All Bye. right, you guys. Woohoo! We're starting. Oh, so, so welcome, welcome, welcome to all the people who are watching this absolutely fabulous, uh, all thousands of you. Both of you. <laughs> Can we swear? I can't believe you're saying this. Where, where, where are we going to hide the dead body that we just killed? Shh. <laughs> Isabella. <laughs> Isabella? Just because you're into serial killer. In the basement of the pizza parlor. Yes. <laughs> Where's Brian? The basement of the Alamo. Okay. So <clears throat> should I meet everybody? Oh, who's nah, going that's first? okay. I'm just gonna do the breakout room. So we are right. on game 46. I never wow. I wasn't planning on ever doing more than like three. And here we are on 46. So that's um, impressive. I know that's we've had like thousands of questions so far. Um, and where's Kyle Polish? No, 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 no. Okay. Thousands and of questions and tens of interesting after, ones. Uh, <laughs> uh, the the uh, COVID is over, so there's no reason to can. Yeah, there's right. No Here comes Lou. Somebody tell Lou we're recording. Um, oh, he when he enters, he knows that we're recording. Okay, here we go. So just for the sake of, just for the sake of people who are listening somebody read who's going to do the rules mike you're nice can you give us some of the rules for those people watching while i start gathering the breakout rooms together wait we can hear you We're, you're, you picked the person with the worst audio very, very bad <laughs> mike your audio's crap and, and that, and that Sorry. i thought we were being nice Susan. Move on. We are being nice. Aaron, do you want to Going do it? To lean into your mind. Aaron, I'd, I'd rather mind. not. Go ahead, Aaron. <laughs> no, I'd rather not. I don't think I could. Okay, okay. I'd, 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 like to, I'd like to hear um, Richard Saunders give the. Uh, oh, yes. Okay, oh, yes. go ahead, Richard. Do it. Don't put tones of Richard give Saunders. Us your, give us your best Australian um, I, Darwin all right, I, I, don't have the, I don't have the right microphone plugged in. But anyway, welcome to the weekly trivia hosted by Susan Derbeck from Gorilla Skepticism on Wikipedia. It's very easy to play. We all sit back and listen to a series of 10 questions being read out. Those questions will also appear in the chat. You must be very quiet when you hear the questions and not blurt out the answer. After the questions have read out and you have a chance to read them, you will be assigned to a breakout room. Once in the breakout room, you can decide amongst your team what the correct answer is. Please nominate one member of your team to be the official scorekeeper. At the end of about 10 minutes, we'll all be brought back to the main room where Susan will read out the answers and you can mark your scores. Okay, very good. Right. Peggy, can you give him the rest of it? <laughs> Peggy, go ahead, give him the rest of it. Give him the stuff that's behind the scenes there. I'm so no cheating, right. no Googling. No cheating. Oh yeah, no Googling, no cheating. Um, you have to rely on what you can remember and your teammates remember. You will, be a, you will be assigned to a room to pick a team and a teammate, which is what Susan's doing right now. And you may or may not be able to pick who you have on your team because boy, that's never happened before. <laughs> <laughs> and what about the, the what's gonna happen that people will see in the interactions between us? Yeah, that's going to be, um, uh, so, um, go ahead, Adrian. Oh, I was just going to say, I think people with the same last name should be on the same team. I like that idea. <laughs> <laughs> Not related at all. I always have fun with my uh, old buddy. Oh, I forgot the most important rule of all. You must come up with a team name that will confound Susan. No, preferably something with the word wa Preferably something with the word Washington in it. <laughs> I like it when you guys come up with team names that are trendy or like what's going right. on in the news this week. And, and that you like, can spell. Yeah. Oh, everything has to be in the chat because I can't spell. Right. Look at you guys. I'm trying to make these rooms. Hold on a second. Are, are we going with the, the same last name in one team? Because I want to be, <laughs> want to be an Adrian and Peggy. Rob, well, how about partially There's the same There's my cousin Rob. Name. The first part of my name is the same as Peggy and Adrian and Rob. <laughs> Hillman. That's Hillman. That's right. Oh, that's right. His last name. Yeah, right. We're not supposed to say that because it might not want to record it. <laughs> sorry, sorry, Lou. That's okay. Okay, Leonard. I got to make sure that all five of you guys, because we're leading off with Isabella, then Faith, then Peggy, Paulina, and Leonard's doing bonus. And this is unusual. We, we've only started doing this the last few weeks. It has made my life a lot easier having you guys all do your own categories. I just will go into the room that you guys leave. 
So that's why I'm trying to make sure that everybody's got their own. I, I don't have so two people been, on the We've been doing it this way for like two months now. I don't think it's unusual anymore. It's unusual. Yeah, Susan's time frame is a little. Well, because because we're on, we're on team forty six. This is the forty sixth time, and we've only done it about eight times. So, Susan, do you? That sounds like too much to me. What what faith? Do you need that us to like... split up? No, it's okay. up to you. Does he know Why what your category you is? Up? We thought you guys were together. No. <laughs> are you guys? Are you? Does he know what your category is? Yeah, I don't. Yeah, I don't know the, the questions. No. He doesn't know. Mm -mm. You could Jamie and Caspian split up, but you don't have to. It's up to you. He just won't be able to, you know. Ramiro, you won't look, will you? It's up to you. Well, let me finish oh, this one. Okay, so he Isabella, know some of the answers. <clears throat> let me fix this. Okay, Isabel, I'm just going to put Isabella mm. in room one. That's the easiest way to do this. Evan Marker, I see you're beside yourself. Faith yep. is going <laughs> in room two. There she is. Okay, Peggy's going in room three. Got it. Paulina's growing in room four. Perfect. Leonard, you're in room five. Okay, now I just got to make sure it's even. Talk amongst yourselves, you guys. We're listening to you. Yeah, we're afraid oh, I'm so interesting. Come back on us. It's just so fascinating. Okay, so we don't trust you. One thing the listeners should know is that if we start talking at this point, then it takes Susan about three times longer just like to, to make the rooms. That's, That's right. Because she says talk amongst yeah. yourselves, but then yeah. she always joins in the conversation and stops yeah. where she's really, actually supposed to be doing. Here, I'm going to turn the volume down. I can go, Rob. Bingo. Bingo. Forgot one rule. There's there's no arguing with the answers. Oh, yeah, sure. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's <laughs> never that happened before. I'm in the wrong place if that's the case. Okay. Good try, Mark. Good try. 28 people, that's a lot. Oh, and the other thing, the unstated rule is that because we're doing this, uh, you know, the, the, the normal participants are doing a category, and Susan will temporarily take their place in their room for that okay. round. You can't do anything which Susan would be really good at because that would kind of be cheating. Actually, Kyle. That is not an unstated rule, Rob. You just stated it. <laughs> now it's a stated rule. A previously unstated rule. That's correct. An unwritten rule. Well, that would don't be forget quite to unfair. mention about the person really who ends up in their the room at the end. Yeah, if, if you... Uh, when you're doing your category, you have the opportunity to uh, use the special powers that Susan grants you to go into the breakout room so you can uh, be amused by people talking themselves out of the correct answers. Trying to yeah. overthink to make it. sure that you don't wind up in the wrong breakout room when you are not using your special powers. You should be in your breakout room at the end of that time period. And when you're in the breakout room that you're visiting and they start talking about answers, try not to give it away <laughs> with, you know, okay. facial expressions or things Australia like that. Australia to Canada or Australia to Canada, we can cheat using this. Oops, everyone can hear us. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I finally got it. I'm getting better at this, but it's, it's confusing because I got to make sure that the five people who are leading the categories are on each on different teams from each other. Then, the other rule is that Robin has to do something about her dog. Her dog? It's usually Wendy. Yes. Wendy said she'll come back later. She's not. And she Wendy's dog, play. too. She's going to try to come back. I try to mute myself when the dogs <laughs> go on there. Just mute the dog. <laughs> no, don't don't mute that. Maggie and Petunia. <laughs> okay, so here we go. I don't ever participate in this. So I'm going to send you guys to your rooms and then you're going to make a nice, really lovely, wonderful name that I can pronounce and spell. And then you'll come back. Don't make it so long that it doesn't fit in your little room thing, you know, your little, your little thing, thing, thing. Okay. So go to your rooms, play nice, be nice, have a good Susan, time. We love you. Uh, yeah. Thank you. <laughs> love you guys too. Miss you already. Wear a mask. Wash your hands when you come back. 30 seconds, at least 20 seconds. Get your wrists. Don't forget the wrists in between your fingers, in between your. There was Paulina. Gail, are you there? Gail. I could talk to Gail. Dun, 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 dun. Oh, she's gone. So it's just me. So this is the part nobody gets to see. So in the background, you guys, <laughs> what shall we do 
they're going to come back with some pretty evil names. I know these people, so I'm going to have to come. I have some sort of revenge I'm going to plan for them. I don't know that yet. I got to come up with some good revenge. But we're going to have some nice revenge. They came back last week. They came back with stuff I couldn't pronounce. Not, not, not in. Look, look, here's, here's last week. Let me, let me find it. Oh, not next game. Future questions, of course. Oh, here is where it was. So last week they had Tear Crack House. Tear, Tear. No, yeah. It's T I R C R A I C E A I L T with a little apostrophe on the A. No, no idea how to pronounce that. Next one was. Sphincterless Broadway Cats. That was room two. Followed by <clears throat> number three was Grothendex Leftover Pie. Pie is in P-I. Ooh, the next one was Pazuzu on Mars. And then the another one, the last one was Specific Pacific Time. So we've had a lot of really fun categories over time. I wrote almost every one of these up until I think um, we started doing breaking it out to people who are in um, uh, to do their own categories. We started doing it. We, we Our first game was on June 11th and we had California. Then we did monsters, then we did American presidents, then classic kid literature, and then random. And that was back when we had five categories and then a bonus. And so it took too long. So I cut it down to four and then a bonus. And so that was our first game, June 11th, 2020. And the reason why this started the way it did is that um, we used to, the Monterey County skeptics used to go to Monterey and we would do trivia over at Fisherman's Wharf. And it was really hard. It's had a lot of sports questions. And there was people there who, who've been playing on these teams for 20 years or something like that. We were just, we'd finish maybe third sometimes. So it was, it was frustrating, but we'd go and we'd hang out and we'd have, you know, pub food and have a good time. It was great seeing everybody. But then of course COVID hit and Robin had this idea that she was going to start trivia. So her and her daughter had a trivia team and we were playing on Tuesday nights and the daughter was getting really mad because we were talking and chit-chatting and stuff like that. And she was, we were social. And so she didn't like it because we, you know, you're not supposed to be social and chit-chatting and interrupting and arguing with the, the person in charge, like we were doing, like they were doing, but we did. So it didn't go over really well and she got mad she says oh you guys only do boomer categories and stuff like that <laughs> so I said well the hell with that forget it I'll make my own I will write my own trivia and I'll see you on Thursday night and we'll figure something out so that was June 11th and we've not missed a Thursday we had Thanksgiving day or that night we did trivia and then we did um, Christmas Eve I think we also had New Year's Day, so we haven't missed anything. And there's always been about 25 people. I think the most we had was, I think, almost 40 people that showed up. A lot of them are regulars. They play over and over, <clears throat> which is great because people get to be friends with each other. And I really enjoy that. And I enjoy meeting all these people. This is keeping me sane, let me tell you. We have, um, what else can I tell you before they come back from the break? The the You'll hear a lot of reference to Pen and um, Punch and Judy, which is a category we did. It was almost the lowest scoring game in the world we've ever done. <laughs> and the questions were about Punch and Judy. And everybody teases me about it. That's like the, the, the lowest point because the questions were really hard. And most people had never heard of Punch and Judy or if they'd heard of it, they just heard of the play or something. So the goal is now is to come up with a category. They're supposed to write a category. And this part of writing the questions is really a lot harder than you think. They always say, oh, it's so easy. The questions I came up with, everybody will be fine. And then, and then they're not easy. 
Because when you know the answer, it's easy, or you know the topic really well, it's easy. But um, I've learned from writing so many categories that it's important not to, um, oh, here we come. Here they come. Hi, Faith. Hi, Romero. Hi. Hey, how are you? <laughs> I've been talking to the camera because we're recording, so I was filling in the the, the people who are watching. How do you travel around the breakout room? Oh, so what I'm going to do is I will give you special powers. Okay. You know, it happens when you, it happens automatically when you're vaccinated, but oh. I'll have to actually give you the powers now. Okay. So you'll get a special power and you'll see on your, I think it's the more button. I think that's where it is. You'll see a little thing that pulls up and it allows you to go into breakout rooms and you can just hop from breakout room to breakout room. And then okay. uh, what you're going to be doing is, because I will be in your place, you want to keep keep an eye on um, and if the doorbell rings and I don't see it, just let me know. Okay. You can see which room I'm in by looking at the, at the well, I'll be in your <clears throat> And what else should you know? Um, if people, they, they can ask for help, but the call comes to me. So mm -hmm. I have to, I have to um, find you and tell you there's somebody asking for help. Okay. Who did a breakout rooms last week? Let me think. It was, who was last the mike no not mike rob or caspian oh. you had breakout rooms you were doing the breakout rooms last what button is it that you get whenever i give you the co powers that where faith was asking how do you know how to get to the breakout rooms where, what a, what button appears breakout rooms yeah where is it that breakout it rooms at the bottom it's a button that says yeah, breakout, rooms. Is the breakout rooms it so it's not there now the right I have one. I have one. Yeah, it's just where um, where right now it says join breakout rooms for us. If you cool. click it and you have co-host powers, then um, it will just give you options of Which more room? things. Okay, so right now it doesn't have the options. Right. Okay. okay. And then what you're doing is when you're going to the room to room, to kind of get a feel of how they're doing. Like, mm -hmm. oh, I think everybody's got it now. Or I think it's going to be another two or three minutes or whatever like that. And then when you find me in your room, say, Susan, they got it, or other teams are coming back already or mm -hmm. whatever. So I have a guide of how long to, to go. And then I'll, I'll hit the, uh, bring everybody back from breakouts. And then you have a one minute. So you could, then you could go into your room right at the very end. So you'll know. The, tr the trouble I had is at least the current version of Zoom. Every time you go from one breakout room to another breakout room, it shows you a different order of the rooms. Instead of just leaving them saying, oh, I'll go one, I'll go two, I'll go three, four. It just randomly seems yeah. to switch them around for no good reason. I, 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 I forget which ones that I already visit, you know, recently. I hate that. Yeah, you got to really pay attention. That's why I try to, when you guys give me the group names, I put it on the, I write it on there so that you can see. Because it does, it flips the rooms around. There's a lot mm -hmm. of things that you don't notice if you guys don't run the the trivia like I do, the, like the chat disappears constantly, like it'll be oh. chat and then you put the chat screen on my, on one of my monitors and then I click on something and the chat screen is gone. Susan, it's got does, some work to do. Does the recording uh, record all the rooms or no. how does that work? Only the main and screen. Only the main screen. Yeah, so while you guys were gone in your rooms talking about your group names, I was yeah. having a chat with the, with other people. The, view, the viewers out there. Say hello Welcome to the viewers, viewers, you guys. Hello, hello viewers. You hello viewers. Um, can't be here today. Something uh, I just realized about the, about, since you're recording this, um, we can't have people like play full YouTube videos or TikTok clips or anything because there, there might be like copyright violations. Good point. You're gonna close uh, this well, everything on YouTube is, um, been extensively scrubbed for copyright violations, so we know. No, that's but not it's because it, it's like the the using it with permission. I'm, to, I'm how, joking. How the person He's joking. I'm, I'm I wouldn't joking. worry about I'm it. Joking, put it up a put up a big slash s for sarcastic. Oh, okay, but <laughs> uh, <laughs> uh, uh, fair use. There's a TikTok video that anyone who enjoys astronomy should watch and laugh at. So I posted that in the chat. Okay, put it in the chat. Okay, so. I hope you guys all noticed my new friend. Well, okay. say hello to my new friend. I have not named my friend. Oh, it's an actual gargoyle. 
Peggy Cigar, sent it to me today. Like a stuffed a cat. Burger. Peggy said she's sending me. <laughs> Peggy said she's sending me a, a, a cat. You know, she said she says I'm sending you a gift, and I said, oh my gosh. And it was yesterday. And I said, she says, I was going to just be a surprise, but then I thought you'd probably go, somebody's going to send, she's going to think it's a bomb or something. <laughs> well, but somebody walked into the kitchen. But he came today. Sweden's in German? I, I haven't named him yet. So we're thinking of a name for my gargoyle. Here. And for the where people did, watching where this. Did you, to, where did you get a gargoyle, Peggy? She got it from a company called Gargoyles or Us. <laughs> Obviously. Tostada Designs. Mark says he's heard of this company. Oh. He says, to put this oh, in context, uh, Susan had a trivia category, which was unbelievably, uh, we didn't figure it out. Like, or something with it. like what was in the room behind her? So and so, all the things behind so, so she called the thing over her uh, on the screen right over her left yeah. shoulder a gargoyle and uh, you know it's not a gargoyle au, co au contraire palmer <laughs> one, group, one group did get it one group did get it one, I, one group did get it one group got it but they, they because they don't know, understand what a gargoyle is. They got it wrong. <laughs> they got it by mistake. Is that what you're saying? Or maybe yeah. they're the only ones who really did. No, they got all the yeah, other answers. I, I agree with Karen. There was only one. I think it's a gargoyle. I remember that. That made me the laugh the hardest because you guys were like, nobody could come up with, because it was like 10 questions about, nine questions about what was in my room. And then the 10th question was, what do they all have in common? And, and Isabella summoned me with the powers of summon. And then we started talking to you and, and asking like you this. to move around. I said, I said, what do you need? She goes, nothing. Just we missed you, Susan. We were just wondering what you're, what you're doing and how you're doing over there. <laughs> and, and one of the answers was a famous mentalist, Mark Edward, who happens to uh, live with Susan there. And he said, no, the answer was Mark. And, and Mark walked in on cue. And I said, hi, Mark. And he said, hi, gang, because mm. he was in the room, see? Yeah, anyway. So, I see. okay. Paula's, Paula's phone is here, I see. Yeah, Paula's Asking. here. She's hiding <laughs> because we're recording, probably. <laughs> I'm looking forward to, to put, the team. I forgot to put this little video. She's asking why you're recording it. In the chat. So she can. Her. I wrote for legal purposes, but and I was- she already uh, knows following. I was recording, because I talked to her about it already. Okay, <laughs> Kevin, Adrian. Bobby, Isabella, I'm typing, Janine, J-E-A-N. What is your guys' name tonight? Jesus. Wait, which team did you, oh, my team? Yeah, Kevin, Adrian, oh, yeah. Bobby, yeah. Isabella, no. Janine. Okay. Beep, beep, beep. This is a test of the Washington Emergency Broadcast System. Beep. <laughs> <laughs> And it's got the word Washington in. Yeah. Guys, <laughs> yeah, put that in the chat so I can just copy it and paste it onto the guide. Yeah, that's going to fit well. <laughs> well, I'm not only that. I mean, she just has to say it. That's all. The frequency, the tone of the has to be that, that high pitch. Too. Mm -hmm. oh, it's all in all caps, too. Great. I thought that was a bleep for swearing. Okay, so well, no, that's name, bleep. This is the team beep. name here is oh. beep beep beep. This is a test, and then I have it over here. Okay, terrific. I can at least spell it. All right. <laughs> oh, sorry. See How many the E's are there beep? in beep? There's several. As many as you want. Three. Maybe four. Lots. I'm not sure. Five. They're not consistent. Oh, I gotta turn on the light. I can't. Let's see. Okay. See, they're distracting me. Normally, I have this down. <laughs> <laughs> I thought it was sure. on mute. Never mind. <laughs> sure. Very good. Susan. Okay. So the next group is Faith, Romero, Gail, Jane, Karen, and Carl. Who are you guys tonight? We're committed to not being vax holes. <laughs> That's good. We are committed to not being vaxels. Can you put it in the chat, please? Oh, so I gotta open up. See, I gotta open up the chat. I'm freaking again. Okay. So committed to not being vaxels. Very good. That fits. I can pronounce it. Thank you very much. I appreciate it. Amazing. Amazing what you can do. All right. Group number three. 
shall forever not be known as group number three unless you change your name to group number three. Too late now, you've already come up with something. So this is Avi, Jim, Le uh, ooh, Lucy, Peggy, Richard, and Robin. I misspelled Lucy. I spelled you Lossy or something. Who are you guys tonight? Girls, mommy's Zooming. <laughs> 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 girls mommy's zooming girl mommy don't bother mommy that's, she's zooming that's a nice name actually i like it i like that name. see how much kinder you guys are to me when we're recording <laughs> already i see a difference i already the see night is young oh, oh i was confused by that so it's not mommy plural it's mommy possessive Yes, mommy, mommy is zooming. Is, no, mommy, oh, mommy is. is. It's a contraction. Mommy, mommy is, is zooming. zooming. Nice. Correct. Because I, I was telling my little dogs that. <laughs> They're barking. Oh, oh. And you think Girls? that's going to help? Be quiet. Mommy's zooming. <laughs> you think that's going to help? Of course it'll help. They understand me perfectly. <laughs> so does Janine's dog. Yes. Okay, so the next group, who was group four and knows longer is group four, is April, Deborah, Erin, Jamie, and Caspian, Paulina, and Rob. Who are you guys tonight? Are we putting it in the chat? Well, you can say it and put it in the chat. You can say it too. Whoever's typing it should probably also say it, just to make sure the phrasing is the same. What is it? We'll get there. They'll get there. Are you, doing, are you doing it, Caspian? I didn't know I was supposed to. I can do it. All right, I will say it and then type it. Please send, send help YouTube viewers. Susan is holding us hostage. <laughs> That's, good. That's, wanted, very good. That's very good. That's very good. wanted Susan is Yeah, not exactly what we her. said, but okay. Okay, what was it? What was it? Started, it started help. Susan is holding us hostage. It works okay. Perfectly. Okay, fix that. That way Help. the people listening are going to feel much more involved. That's right. Help. Susan is holding us hostage. Uh, people on YouTube, please help us. Okay. Please put that <laughs> Much better. Because we're really not scattered across the planet. We're all in Susan's basement on different PCs <laughs> on the desk she has us chained to. Oh, oh, wow. Permission. Okay, here we go. Help, Susan is holding us hostage to people on YouTube. Please help us. Okay, that's much better. All right. Room number five, the last room to be, but not the, the last, but not the last. Does that make sense? The no, last, but not the last. Not the no. least. No. This connection failed. Doesn't it work. missed us by this much. Miss Susan. So this is James, Leonard, Lou, Mono, and Mike. Ooh. Put that in the chat, James. Missed it by this much. It's not a um asteroid. It's smart. It's so smart. A, uh, get smart, yeah. So smart. Would yeah. you believe this much? Would you believe uh robo? I, I don't think so. Fantastic. We have our names. Here are the name titles for the groups that we'll be playing tonight. Group number one, which is Kevin, Adrian, Bobby, Isabella, and Janine are beep beep. Beep. This is a test of the Washington Emergency Broadcast System. Beep. Okay. Playing against, committed to not being vax holes, uh, who are playing girls, mommy zooming, and who are playing against. Oh, why was I supposed to say committed to not being vax holes are Faith, Romero, Gail, Jane, Karen, and Carl. Playing against Avi, Jim, Lucy, Peggy, Richard, and Robin, which is girls, mommy zooming, who are playing against. April, Deborah, Aaron, Jamie, Caspian, Paulina, and Rob in help. Susan is holding us hostage. People on YouTube, please help us. Followed by James, Leonard, Lou, Mono, and Mike. It missed us by that much. Okay, got it. Boy. Jeez, no wonder it takes us so long to get started. Uh, is it that much or is it this much? <laughs> no, it's really okay. much. Karen is making a point to everybody that you might want to write these things down. And I am going to turn over the game play to Isabella, who I already has control of the team at the moment. And uh, make sure you give a nice, she's gonna read out what the category is and everybody give a nice groan. And then I think Adrian's gonna mute everybody. <laughs> Unmute yourself by pushing down on the space key on your keyboard if you have to, if you have something that is very important to say or extremely Whoa. funny 
or you have a question. And uh, remember that if you ask a question, it may give all sorts of instruction to the other team. So be careful with your clarifying remarks because yes, Rob. Be, Rob, to uh, other teams may already be helped by your, your questions. So I'm um, turning it over to Isabella. She will put all the questions in the chat, which will be able to be seen on your breakout rooms. So you ready? Well, I'm ready. And remember no. when you guys come back from your breakout rooms, I'm leaving this recording. So be nice or you can talk to uh, it'd be funnier if you just talk to the talk to the people listening because the other people can't hear it. i can't imagine that. <laughs> we would we'd like to see some discussion i think that's really the interesting part too about this whole thing is the discussion that goes on so oh and paul paula is going to be on the last room because i forgot that i didn't put her on because she came a couple minutes after the creation of the room is, an, paula, is there a particular order of yes when you are four Susan, if you wanted to, you could have people go to the rooms and call and tell one room to come back here and let them argue it so you could record it. Oh, I don't know. Whatever they want to do is fine. No, we don't want to do that. You yeah, know. just come on and back. Okay, so I'm going to have um, Isabella start. Please be nice. Show your good good manners that you're, that you're taught. Or what? Manners. Oh, okay. Manners, man. <laughs> <laughs> Isabella, okay. you're up. So okay. I'll um, mute everybody, but don't forget, Isabella, I think you'll be muted as well. So I'm yeah, going to mute after, mute after hey, what's the category? The category. Yeah, after what the category you? name. Uh, the category is like unsolved mysteries. Oh, that's cool. Oh, hmm. boy. That's not a groaner. No. All right. Is this, is this the TV show, Unsolved Mysteries, or is this just general? No, it's just the category that I decided to name it after. Sorry. It's actually about dogs or something, but she just. <laughs> All right, so muting in three, two, one. Okay, so my questions are, I don't know, I kind of came up with this category, like a couple, I came up with it last week, but then I was really tired last week, so I couldn't do it, but anyways, here we are. Okay, so the first question is, in 1948 on Somerton Beach in Adelaide, South Australia, the body of an unidentified man washed ashore. A message had been scrawled onto a, onto a scrap piece of paper found in the pocket of his pants. Other than the scrap of paper, the body had no identification. What was the man called? A, the Somerton Beach man, B, the, B, the mystery man of Adelaide, or C, John Doe? Let me put that in the chat. see two what mistake did the boulders did the boulder did the caller did the boulder police department make while investigating the crime scene of the missing john john benet ramsey a the police officers failed to sufficient to, to sufficiently take photographs of the crime scene B, the officers didn't keep civilians away from the crime scene. C, the officer, the officer had preconceived notions that the parents were to blame and told them that they were suspects. Or D, the officers left the scene before getting all of the questions answered or documented. Let me copy that. These are good already. <laughs> Sorry, I'm just moving stuff around. Isabella watches the same show as I do, I think. Uh, okay. Number three. What was the what was the what were Amber Alerts initially called? A Amber Awareness, B Amber's Rescue, or C Amber's Plan? Excuse my spelling. <laughs> Four. One of the most famous serial killers of all time is the gruesome John Wayne Gacy, but what was his given nickname? And there's no A, B, or C for that. Five. Where was the first Zodiac 
Zodiac's first confirmed crime? A, Napa, California, B, Modesto, California, or C, San Francisco, California? I spelled that wrong, so I'm just editing that. Okay. Six, how many trials did Ted Bundy have in Florida? A, four, B, seven, or C, three? Wait, there's a three to that, it didn't copy it, okay. Okay, um, what is this? Okay, seven. What eventually happened to the H.H. H. Holmes Hotel? A, it was condemned, B, it was demolished, or C, it burnt down? Eight, who was the New York City mayor at the time of the, at the, at the time of the sun, sorry, let me phrase this. Who was the New York City mayor at the time of the sun? That doesn't make any sense how I phrase it. Okay. Who was the New York City mayor at the time, uh, during during the, the son of Sam's killings? That doesn't make any sense. I know the questions when you write them out, they make yeah, sense. Yeah, I'm sorry. Read them out it while makes sense. It makes I basically sense. just want to know who the mayor was. We'll figure that it out. was a horribly phrased question. I'm really sorry. That's it's right. perfectly okay. It's, it's, it's pretty okay. clear. Look how okay. nice okay. the person to her. I'm so sorry. <laughs> give her the crap you give me. And, and no, you, didn't, put, you did not mispronounce anything. No, no, no. <laughs> that that, that okay. was phrased originally when you started to say it was phrased correctly. It made sense. Okay. Sorry. I was thinking. Okay. Look at uh, that. Number seven. <laughs> Wait. That was eight. Okay. Now we have. Nine, sorry. Um, the th okay, the thief of the valuable. Okay, uh, valuable. The thief of this doesn't make any sense either. The thief of the valuable paintings from the Boston Museum. That doesn't. This is Isabella. Make any just sense. read it. <laughs> okay, I'm sorry. Read it the way you wrote. <laughs> the thief of the valuable paintings from the Boston Museum occurred on March 18th, 1990. <laughs> paintings by Vermeer. Vermeer, Bont, and Rembrandt were stolen along with five other drawings. Which museum did this heist occur in? A, Boston Museum of Fine Arts, B, Isabella Stewart Gardner Museum, C, Harvard Art Museum, or D, Miles Ga Mills Gallery? That's okay. Is it the word uh, where you read, read the word thief? It should be okay. theft. Yes. Sorry about that. Yeah, it says, it says theft. Yeah. Um, 10. One of the most famous serial killers of all time. One of the most. Okay, sorry. One of the most famous serial killers of all time was Jack the Ripper. But what was but what was his real name? No ABC or D. Just guess it. And that was number nine, but I think it came the, up. The only problem one. is you don't have a number for number eight, and yeah, number so. eight is actually number nine. They're all there. They're no, eight numbered. is who was New York City mayor at the time of the Son of Sam killings. Right, right. but, but the next one, one, but number nine is labeled eight. Oh, I see what oh, I yeah, did. Yeah. So that's what I just said. So number Sorry nine is actually, the last one you just gave is number nine. You know, I'll repost them so it makes more sense. I'm sorry about that. Yeah, Alan just joined. So, uh, Alan, we're yeah. reading out the la uh, last question for the category, which is called mystery. What are you calling it? Unsolved mysteries, I guess. Okay, okay let me rephrase it and then I'll repost it. Okay, but go ahead and give 10. That's okay. We're okay, all right. I'm sorry we about it. that. We got it. No problem. Tell me, there is. We have 10. We have 10. Jack the Ripper. Oh, good. Okay. So number 10 is the Jack the Ripper one, right? Yes. Okay, so that's fine. So what we're gonna do is, um, Here, okay, so I've got them on my little master sheet now. All right, so what, what we can do is just for Alan, here, let me see. 
I'm going to copy them right now. Let's see if I can get them all on one. I'm sorry about that. No reason to you apologize. Did well. You did well. Okay, so I'm going to see if I can give these all to. to uh, okay, or I can repost them in the chat, either or. Well, I'm going to send them just to Alan because let's see if it'll fit. Okay. Oh, no, I can only give them the first four. Why don't you put us in our rooms now? Yeah. So, Isabella, yeah. Could, you, okay. could you post um, question five to 10? Yeah, I'll do Alan that. directly. And then that way he has all the questions. It's when somebody joins, they can't see the chat. So, Alan, I'm going to put you on. Welcome, by the way. Thank you. And I think I have them. I, th I, I think they're here. I gave you the first five. Oh, I see. Okay. Okay. I'll send I everyone to their rooms. Okay. <laughs> Okay, I need to put Alan in a room. So go ahead and okay. him, go ahead and I'll put Alan in one, two, three. I'm gonna put him over here because I'm gonna put Alan in, in one. And Paula's going to go to five. Okay, sounds good. Now I'm gonna go to number one. one. All right, so I'll see you in a little bit. Thanks. Let me know if you need you do fine. It's great. You know how it works in this. Yeah, well, this is extra, this is this is extra slow today. <laughs> I spent an hour I spent an hour trying to book a book a flight. Uh, I was on the on the uh, thing. Okay. So Susan, just so you know, it looks like where you went is being recorded because we just got a notification that this is being recorded. And if you look up in the little corner, it says it's being recorded. Hey! So it, the recording seems to be following you. Ooh. Okay, you guys. This That's is pretty cool. I'm glad because in a way, because you know we missed this part about how. That's right. How how we come to the conclusion so yeah. that's cool Ooh, yeah, I we're missing that. we're missing janine what happened to her <laughs> is she in the by the way what are we called yeah she has called like... beep up or beep 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 this is a test of the washington emergency broadcasting system <laughs> <laughs> Okay. Can I ask hey, you real Susan. quick? I, I, Susan, I just have to, it's nothing to do with the questions and I'll let you let these guys talk about questions. I, I did see the episode uh, from, I decided to actually watch one of the things you guys always talk about. So I watched the, the, uh, the con. So I saw Mark, uh, the guy, what's his name? Uh, N Nygar? Uh, Nygar. Does he get, do, do, do these people after he gets their money back, does he get everything that they, that, does he get all their he gets money? A cut. He gets a cut. He, either he gets a cut or he's paid straight up. Like, you know, so they like $150 they to an hour. Cost, to, so it cost these guys anyway. Yeah. But they weren't going to get their money back unless he helped. Yeah. Yeah. So it's, it's like, you know, it's, he's a private investigator. So yeah, you're paying, he's getting yeah. a cut. So okay. I guess he's doing all right. Yeah. Anyway, okay. he says he's been so, flooded with calls. And I'm sorry, what's our topic? So did, so did you like did you like the con? Yeah, it was all right. You know, I mean, it was, it was certainly interesting. I felt for these guys, and I'd been through that. So, you know, I mean, so I, I felt for them. But uh, uh, yeah, but it's like it's like all it, it's it's like all the 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 uh, the gumshoe type programs, you know. But uh, yeah, yeah, and Mark was amazing. Yes. Yes, of course. Thank you. Yes. <laughs> I, was, I was standing right, right behind him, right to the side of him, making sure his hair was. He looked lovely. He yes, was thank lovely. You. I, I so did my our, part. What's our topic? Is this a it's serial mystery? Topic? Unsolved mysteries. Oh, unsolved. Okay. All right. So here we go. Um, I know a couple of these. In 1948, on the beach in Adelaide, I remember reading about this. Yeah, I don't remember. This is. Um, um, Isabella, so our team we, member. She, Isabella, she we realized oh. that we're able to, it's recording wherever I'm at, oh, okay. which is good because that way people watching <coughs> can see how the discussion is. See how stupid we are. <laughs> and, and because I'm going to go from room to room, it will, everybody will get a focus in each category. So it'll be fun. I okay, see. So this first one, I know I have read this. It is so interesting, this story. All right. Yeah. And well, it's, it, it's anybody not, else see this? It's not Amelia Earhart. No, a, it's not John Doe. It's the, I think it's like Summerton it Beach Man, I think. Yeah, I think it's like A. It should be a. I've, I've definitely a. heard of this before. I've, 
I've heard it referred to as the Summerton Man or the Summerton. Yeah, I, I'm almost oh. positive. Is this is really a multiple good. choice? There's multiple choice. Yeah, yeah. and this yeah, hasn't been yeah. solved. I don't believe it's been solved, but the, yeah, I don't think the so mystery either. behind it's really good. Yeah, they suspect he was a spy or something like that. Oh, but... yeah, because it was during uh, World War II, right? I something like that. Yeah, I think Wasn't so. It? Let me see. Does it say yeah. at the beginning? Yeah, 1948. It's really interesting. Right after. Yeah. All right, okay, number two, the boulder. Oh, no, this is easy. I don't know anything about Jean, Jean Benet Ramsey. I remember it being in the news a lot. That's about it. Okay, so this is. And I remember uh, they really did think B. it was the parents. B. Because oh. they called in and they, they had people tramping around and, and the, you know, they didn't go look at the basement and the father went down to the basement and he's like, uh, oh my God, there she is. And he, he picks her up and brings her up and yeah. all sorts of evidence was destroyed. So they had, all, he called, they called their best friends to come oh. over. Like they called the police and then they called their friends. And so the crime scene was contaminated. Oh, bad. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so that's two. This one I don't know. Amber Alerts? Which one I don't is know. That? What were is somebody Alerts? keeping notes of the answers? I've got the okay. Isabella is joined breakout room. I don't want to go. Carl's calling for help. Go. All right, I'll go, but I come back. Okay, I'll be back. I don't how is that? <laughs> We've discovered that where I go, the recording goes. The recording. Yeah. What's what's you, about? you don't want me, right? You want Isabella, yeah, right? I I, I Isabel was in, and I wanted to ask her a question, and then she dropped out before I could ask her the question. Is it a question I can answer, or no? Probably not. A... No, I, I wanted to ask her. The question is really, can she answer this question for me? Is it, for number four? Is she talking about a nickname this person had before they were a killer, or a nickname the media gave to them as the killer? I think. No, it's I that. think it's the nick the nickname the media, the media gave. gave. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So, killer clown. I'm going back to my room. So I would go for B probably. Yeah, yeah. I agree. Yeah. Isabella, I agree. the question that they had for you was on question number four. What did I do now? No, no, they wanted to know if <laughs> They're great, question Isabella. number four was his nickname before he became a serial killer or what the media called him. I meant like what the media called him. That's what I told them. Okay, so that was the room that Carl was in, so. You want me to go? I'll go to Carl's room. Yeah, you were okay. just there, right? As you left, right as he was asking you the question. Okay, where are we at, you guys? We're number we're four. That, we're on that one. We, we need to know his, Wait, his what nickname. Is, well, what do we decide on three? I don't know. Wait, Carl's in room number two, right? Carl you can is. See the Carl. list of names. I think I have. I have the name. Carl. Um, I I, I have He's been uh, committed to not being back souls. I'm not. I'm not sure about this, Amber's. Amber, you said that you're saying Amber's rescue. Yeah. The only reason is, is the apostrophe s is what I don't like. It's like it's that particular rescue where Amber awareness. It's like um, uh, what's. Uh, but it was named after a, a young girl. girl. Right. I realize no, that, that we had but, anything but, Amber that, but Amber's rescue sounds like a specific one. Like you don't have Amber's alert. You have Amber alert. So I'm wondering if it shouldn't be just Amber awareness. See how skeptics overthink things? Yeah, but I think awareness, if it was awareness, they changed it because it doesn't seem like it's strong enough of a, yeah. of a word. Yeah. Right. Yeah, like yeah. 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 Well, that's why they went to alert. Yeah, that could be, yeah. Okay, no well, what, whatever you guys want. To me, like it could be a vigil vigilante thing, mm -hmm. like Bob said. And Amber's plan just doesn't sound like it, it, it's. Yeah, like, I didn't know that they had anything. I thought I thought it wouldn't be have anything to do with the word Amber. I thought it. Yeah, that's what I thought too. Yeah, the emergency alert system for missing children who have been abducted or something. You know, some name. For the Washington alert. Named system. After the Washington the girl. <laughs> uh, uh. Wait, so let's leave it for B for. Okay, okay so when John like, Wayne Gacy was yeah. called his given nickname. So they're saying like, as they were trying to find the killer. Yeah. Like who? Did, what was his moniker? The they didn't know it was John Wayne Gacy. They didn't know he was that clown. Yeah. Uh, um, I never got. I never got the next. I got never got the next questions. Uh, I I didn't get them in the chat. I can put. I'll give them to you, Alan. What was so you guys discussed John Wayne Gacy? So John Wayne Gacy. Am I mistaking this or not? But I thought they didn't recover the bodies until after they caught him. 
Like they didn't know he was a serial, that there was a serial killer. That's what I thought too. I, I thought, thought he buried him under the, the in thing. his basement. Wasn't it there? Somebody got basement? away from him and then they went and That's right. Him. That's right. So I don't think what there was, was his like nickname, a name though? for him that was like, there's what a serial killer nickname? on the loose. Didn't he have a no, nickname? It was though? after he was caught. They called him. Well, well like didn't that. like the media have a nickname, like the base, the, the base side killer or something like that. There you go. Alan. No, because they didn't know it was a serial killer. Right. So I think it's going to be like, because he was the guy who did the clown stuff. Um, Was it, was it like the clown killer or something? I don't, it doesn't ring a bell. You know, if one of you guys came up with something, I'd probably go, yeah, that's it. But I can't, yeah. I'm having trouble. Yeah, okay. I do. I do seem to remember him having. Wasn't it like the highway killers or something? There was something think, happening. Wait, given, that given, I'm sorry, people. given, now that I see this given name, when I think of it, that is, wouldn't that be the, what's, you mean John Wayne Gacy wasn't his real name? That was, no, that his, was his name. She wants his nickname. Bobby, like, what was his name? given nickname? In other words, what the press gave him. Yeah. Yeah. Bobby. Yeah, th that's what I mean. Sorry for not clarifying that in the question. That's that's okay. I I do seem to so remember him having Bobby? a nickname. Yeah. Sorry. I remember him having a nickname, but I don't remember what it was. I think I watched some documentary, and I think it actually had nothing to do with him being a clown, if okay. I remember right. But they called him. So like they caught was him, found the bodies, like and the then they started or... calling him something. It was because he he ate he, he kind of ate the kids. Didn't no, he? that was what's that was Jeffrey Dahmer. Yeah. Oh, okay, Dahmer. wrong one. Oh, I'm mixing up my kids. serial killers. Because <laughs> um, I think I remember having a reaction where I heard the nickname and I was like, "Why would they call him that? The clown is right there. They could call him clown something." Yeah, but yeah. They didn't. Wayne but Gacy. Wayne Gacy. Wayne Gretzky. Wayne. <laughs> <laughs> we could come back to that one let's go to number five john wayne you know i have no idea no. yeah zodiac okay, the zodiac one is san francisco thank you hey jane and how many and, and trials is, where i live is, is uh, important for the 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 people who live, there's two uh math teachers who live in Salinas Salinas that broke the code for the uh zodiac uh, mm. they sent out they had he had this really sophisticated code that he sent out and two people in Salinas broke it but we still don't know who the Zodiac killer is my wife says right. kill a clown, kill oh, a clown. maybe it was kill maybe it was if we can't come up with anything else I'll write it down for now that's good okay number six I have no idea I don't even know if he had a trial in Florida I don't know anything about well, it. I, I thought Florida. he only had one or two because he represented himself so I'm surprised right. to see the numbers well then maybe Maybe it's three. Was he Florida? But you know, I, it might have been per. Um, oh, somebody's. What if she would have said me? zero, I would have. I would have been just happy with guessing that. So I'm surprised. But I mean, I guess it depends on how many people he was accused of murdering. They might have done them all separately, right? Well, this is all in Florida. Oh, somebody needs to be into a room. Who is that? Oh, Brian's here. Let's put him in. I do with Brian. We're going to put him over with, let's see, where's Avi? Okay, I'm going to put him in that room because- What Avi question are you guys on? We're doing the Ted Bundy one. Okay. Did we let off, did we let Brian in? He's just Everyone else is like nearing 10, so- Okay, so we got to hurry up? Yeah. yeah. Hurry up. Like, My wife says, kill a clown. Go, go. This, this is your team, Isabella. You know, we can just keep it, keep it- uh... I mean, I can just <laughs> tell you all the answers. Like, there you go. Yeah, we're being recorded. Thank you very much. Um, so, wow, where did my chat go? So we could what, we could make a guess four, seven, or three. You guys, which one? Oh, can somebody please four. give Brian the question? All right, it is. Do we have to give Brian, Brian the, question. the questions? Just take your chat and copy it and paste it. <sighs> or maybe they'll do it in the room. You have to do it in five groups of five. I'm going to close the rooms in two minutes. Okay. <gasps> Don't do that. No. Okay. okay. <laughs> Holmes Hotel. The H.H. Holmes Hotel is not there anymore, so it was either demolished or burned down. I think it was demolished, but I'm not totally sure. I I don't know. Because I wanted to visit, and I couldn't, and I was sad. Oh, interesting. Is it New York, or is it New Jersey? Chicago. Oh. <laughs> either. You're okay. close. Seriously, <laughs> what, 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 is the, what is that hotel? It he was made awful. a bunch of trap doors. He was my great-great-grandfather. He made a bunch of trap doors. What? Seriously? Wait, who's no. he? Who's no way. He? 
Who's he? Who are we talking he about? He was a mass murderer who was torturing people. It was horrible. Okay, it was so a hotel uh, he, and he had trap so doors. Essentially, and he it was kind of like people. a murder hotel. Like he would, if they, he played it off like it was an actual hotel, but in reality, he would like set up these kind of like trap rooms where people would like die of oxygen poisoning or he'd poison their food or he'd create like lock like them a in their Netflix room. documentary. Kind now, of like I hear about this Bobby's thing here. Now, what Bobby? I'm just like kidding. We're not really okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> there was a show. No, there was a show and it was on. Get uh, some how answers. long ago? How long ago was this? How long ago? Like the 20s. Okay, because I mean, I've been in Chicago since 86. Yeah, no, this is like. I don't tw- ever. This is like, I don't. This is like oh, late so Victorian. Bobby, you guys, hurry up. Yeah, there's a whole state. state. No, I think it, I think it was Chicago. I think because so. they demolished it's you when there, it burned it's down. It's not there. I don't think it's there. The only thing I the think, hotel I can think, I think of is demolished. Least, well, okay, number number well, eight is B. Guys number eight is team. Isabella Stewart Gardner Museum. Number eight, that's for sure. Okay. Plus Isabella so I, I, is using on. her own number name. Number seven, we picked demolished B, right? I think it's yeah, burned down because I think it was. I don't think it was demolished because it seems to me that they were going to try to renovate it or no. No, so, it, it must have been demolished. Demolished is good. So number eight, though, is who is the New York City mayor at the time of Sam, Son of Sam on a skilly, killing spree? Oh, that's right. What's no his idea. name? The bald guy. What was his name? Um, Koch. Uh, oh, uh, yeah. Could it Ed been Koch? Giuliani? No, no, Ed Koch. No, it was before I, Giuliani. This yeah, is 1976. The Ed, Ed Koch. Perfect. OK. And okay, the last one is. Well, number nine first. Number it's nine unknown. first. Is oh, Isabella Stewart Gardner Museum. B. And the yes. last one I agree with Susan is there we is still no don't know. Name. The what? what? We don't know the name. There is no we don't yes, know. Yes, well, he had a name. No, yes. no, they still don't know who it really is. They have speculation about who he yeah, is. Yeah, but what's the guy they they, they blame though? Like he has a name. There's a few people. Yeah. Oh, I, I, I'm, think, I'm thinking of the Boston Strangler. Never mind. Oh, no. no, I even went on that walking tour in London, but I don't remember a thing. Yeah, uh, no, they, no, Jack the Ripper's never been found. They've never been named. Mr. Yeah. Ripper. It was about the only yeah, one that was, I knew anything about. <laughs> there was some okay, Polish guy everything? that they said. Got everything. Did you want me to run it through just to make oh, sure? Oh, that they, they, they thought it was some, uh, there's some royal, uh, not royalty, but some some lord. Yeah, the, one of the, the prince, uh, the, prince uh, the queen's uh, son, Prince second. Andrew. I was thinking of Albert yeah. Salby or something, but that's that's the Is Boston. It, uh, Adrian, do you think we need to run through him? Boston or Strangler. I, I, I wouldn't mind just because yeah, there was some. Quick. So number one, I've got A. Number two is B. Number I three is B. A is Summer, Summerton Beach Man. That's A. Yeah. B number two, I've got B. I don't have the answers. Like the crime scene. Three is B. Three is Amber's Rescue. Yeah. And four is the killer clown. Okay. Five is C. C, San Francisco. I hope it's San Francisco. Six is A. Six is. Is that four? Four times? Yeah. Four. That's correct. Seven is B. It was demolished. demolished. Is it? Yeah. And then Ed Kosh. And then nine is B. Isabella Stewart yeah. Gardner Museum. And 10, we still don't know. Yeah, it's a Ed Koch. Koch. Koch? With a ch. Koch. Oh, yeah, Ed Koch. Koch. Okay. <laughs> okay. All right. Good job, okay. guys. Thanks, guys. Right. Good job, team. Well done. I'll be competing against you on another day. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah. Susan yeah. decided. The best answer is because. So, so we found out that the recording follows me where I go. Oh, Where, when I go into a breakout room, it records in the breakout room. Oh. So Paula, she decided to record it to share it with some people who um, are not here who have expressed interest. And when I become senile, I can watch these over and over. Susan, and over. Well, when, yeah, you, when you become senile, Susan. Susan, <laughs> did you did you uh, Susan did you have your vaccination yet? Because yeah. it could have something to do with that chip. Oh, I don't think it's the oh the recording following me. Yes. I've had my first vaccination, but I don't think it's been long enough. I only had it Monday, and this is Thursday. So the recording. Well, chips. these are quick chips, you know. I haven't heard Bill Gates' voice yet. When you get old, you can take the test over and over and over again. <laughs> Which chart did you get, Susan? I'm a Pfizer. I did too. I got it. I That's what I have. Oh, hi, Brian. By the way, where's my? Hi. Thank you for letting me in. In bed. <laughs> Little snot, he probably would have known some of these. Susan, don't call people snots. 
It's not hey. nice. <laughs> not nice. It's not funny. It's not nice. <laughs> it's not. I know. I'm sorry. It's not. Okay. You you could really Curling hurt is the only feeling. snot anyway. You can't no, bully people, Susan. It's not nice. It's nilly. <laughs> It would just be nice to know if Miles had feelings at this point. I don't oh my god! <laughs> he's, he's hey, this is being recorded. Watch out. Oh god. Hey, I, name, hey, name a song Ryan, with the word Ryan, I've raised two lyrics. boys. It, it gets easier. 15 is really hard, though. <laughs> Trust me. Music trivia. Name a song with the word, the lyric snot in it. What? There is a song <laughs> no. with the lyric snot. It's not a good day to do that. There's a typo negative song with the word snot in it. That's the only one I know. This was a hit. <laughs> when was this a hit? The 70s. Like, with a really generous definition. Was it a Weird, Weird Al Yankovic song? No, it's a Aqualung by Jethro Tull. Oh. oh, snot is running down his nose. That's, That's right. right. Is that the name of a song? No, Jethro it's a lyric Tull. in the song. Okay, you said the Aqualung. 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 I thought you meant the title was snot in it. Oh, yeah, I know Aqualung. Aqualung. How absolutely elegant that roller. is. Uh, okay, Isabella, good category. We had some yeah. discussions. That was great. Okay. I tried. No, I'm sorry for my I, I really not re -re pre reading the questions before I wrote them. Don't worry. <laughs> well, I, I learned to read we them. We figured it out. Okay, here we go. Was good. Question number one is about the, the beach. Okay, so number one, the answer is A, the Summerton Beach Man or the Summerton Man. Yes. Essentially, this guy was found lying on a beach and he was never identified during that time. Fingerprints weren't common and they thought he was maybe a spy. And there's a whole bunch of other things. I'd recommend looking it up. Yeah, it's very good. It's actually pretty interesting. Very Skeptoid episode. Still don't have an Just Google that and Skeptoid. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Skeptoid did one, right? Yep. And Richard, oh, yeah. uh, were you well aware of this? Uh, yes, but I couldn't remember what he was called, but I knew it wasn't the Adelaide Mystery Man or something. So we just, by a process of elimination. Yeah. It's a pretty interesting story. Um, okay. Number two is B, the, the police officers didn't keep civilians away from the crime scene. They kind of just let people walk in. I knew that one. Which probably hindered them really never being able to, well, officially being able to find who killed her. But who really did it? Who did it? We don't know. Her, I, I like the theory that it was her brother that accidentally killed her and the parents covered yeah. her. Yeah. Like supposedly, yeah, I remember it was thing. like John Mark Carr, but then they couldn't really prove that. And then there was a whole bunch of other stuff. But you know, Nickel did a really good write up on this in Skeptical Inquirer. A year or so ago and it was very good write-up and i think he's basically saying it was the son and that the parents covered up yeah. i always thought it was the oh. brother yeah yeah the brother son slash son yeah but if you want to look that up you'll find it's a good really good article detailed um uh joe nickel is a really good investigative um he's really good at this investigative stuff and he had an interesting angle about the spider webs and stuff like that that there was no intruder because the spider webs weren't even just Move. Right. Yeah. There's different things. There's all kinds of reasons, but go ahead, Isabella. Okay. Number three is Amber's plan. That was the original name <gasps> that it was supposed to I be. See why they changed it. It was named. Well, <laughs> so it was named after this girl who went missing, and the parents like sued the government or whatever. Was her name Amber? Yeah, her name was Amber Renee Hagerman, I think. And essentially, the parents were like, you don't have anything to stop this ever happening again. They sued the government. I think So, it Isabella, the reason we thought that couldn't possibly be is because it would be Amber apostrophe S plan. So we thought you just wrote that wrong and made it up. <laughs> Sorry. Is, is it really Amber apostrophe S plan? Yeah. So if you got that, you can have the point. No, I mean, we didn't get it because it was spelled that way, so. Uh. Be nice. No, we didn't get it because you thought it sounded stupid. Well, it does. Without the, without the apostrophe, it's stupid. Because then it would be a plural amber. It would be multiple amber. And, uh. You know, you have to remember, Rob, that that Susan is running this game. The mind of an engineer. Susan is <laughs> running this, and you cannot rely on spelling. Go on, Isabel. I'm so sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. I feel so judged right now. <laughs> okay, number four. The answer is Pogo the Clown. Yay. Oh, yes. Oh. See, I knew he would. Oh, I knew. Damn. Pogo. 
That was supposed to be the easy question. Oh, oh no, I'm so sorry. I said the killer clown team. I'm so no, sorry. No, it, it's okay, Susan. Pogo. I, I, Pogo. I said Pogo first. Oh. Oh. We never said Pogo. It wasn't his name. I mentioned it, but alternate. Yeah, name. Kevin. So the answer, it. Isabella. The answer is not the killer clown because Pogo. his, his uh, he he played Pogo the clown. Yeah. That's so the media that's what called Wikipedia him the killer. Says. The oh, media yeah. called him the the killer clown because he was Pogo the clown. But that's not we un- misunderstood. The, the answer is Pogo I looked the clown. It up and Pogo the clown came up more than killer clown. So that's why I chose that. But honestly, like if you have Killer Clown, I'll just accept that. Well, and we oh, did say a Pogo the Clown. That was the character that he played. He played yeah. a children's yeah. party. Yeah, I, knew, I, 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 I we couldn't remember it, but I knew it was a one word thing, and I was going to remember it. Thank you, Isabella. One. You are a merciful. <laughs> well <done. laughs> the both came up, and I looked it up on multiple sources, and. They both came up, but Pogo the Clown came up more, so I chose that. But. Karen, she is a, okay. a merciful oh, dictator. Okay. Right. <laughs> the dog agrees. Okay. The dog's barking. Okay. Um, number five is Napa, California. <gasps> it was at oh. a lake in the middle of oh. some like it I was some it was like Francisco. it was some. Like there's a couple out like county park. It was like a county park. park out in the middle of nowhere. They were they were making out. You see, yeah, it was like a county park out in the middle of nowhere. Every time I go there, I always want to go. My parents are like, "No, that's weird." But nice <laughs> you are a murderista. <laughs> I'm sorry, team. I said San Francisco because I. Like, you said Napa. I yeah. said San Francisco, and it's Napa. Okay. We're really close to each other, you guys. We, we talked ourselves out of that one. Number <laughs> six is three. Yay. Yay. In total, all together, there was like 25 or something like that. I don't know. And, and what Something letter ridiculous. was that? Huh? Sorry. What, what letter was that? Oh, it wasn't letters. C. That it was, was C. Letters. Sorry. It was not letters. It was no letters. Yeah, A, B, and C. So it was C. That's what she means. Yeah. Means. Yeah. yeah. Next. Okay. So we had a bunch of trials, just three in Florida. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Number, number seven. seven. And the chat has no number, has no letters either. Well, it's that's all right. Go ahead. And okay. the answer is three. Yeah. What eventually happened? Number seven. What eventually happened to the H. H. Holmes Hotel? It burned down. Oh. If you don't know about the H.H. H. Holmes Hotel, essentially this like crazy guy decided to create like a death trap hotel and it was kind of like each room would either get poisoned or you die of like oxygen depletion or yeah. Like, later, crazy. yeah, later things is like he didn't kill as many people as it was claimed and it wasn't yeah. just What city? What city was that? Chicago. Chicago. There was an episode of uh, there was an episode of Sherlock, which based yeah, that's where that I got it from. Yeah, it's, it, <laughs> it was, was it was during the Columbian stuff. Exposition. Expo- Exposition. Yeah. yeah, it was real near the site, I think. Which version oh, of Sher- uh, Sherlock with Benjamin Cumberbatch? Yeah, oh, yeah, I guess not a real Cumberbatch. Cumberbatch. <laughs> that is it was a also Sherlock. an episode of Timeless. Was based in that hotel. Oh, that yeah, one I, I like that's that's also where I learned it from. I really like that show. <laughs> hmm. Okay, number eight is Abraham Beam. Oh, oh first one. Beam? Beam. B-E-A-M-E. I don't remember. Uh, I didn't live in New York at the time, oh, but yeah. I was alive. Yes, I don't I remember him. him. Yeah, I met him in person. We shook hands. Yeah. I was not, thinking if Rob was on our team, he might but know. That's, no, I, 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 no, I went with Koch because I thought Beam was too uh too much before that. I didn't yeah. remember the dates. Did you okay. count your fingers? <laughs> okay, number nine is the Isabella Stewart Gardner Hotel. Yay. Museum. Essentially, these guys, so the whole reason the heist happened was the hotel had like really, really bad security. And some guy literally came in like a week before the heist actually happened and told the security people, like, you need to change your whole system. And then they got uh like, like broken into mm. essentially like the security system were was set up that if the, something was triggered it would go to the to the security desk it wouldn't alert the police and apparently that wasn't okay at the time so 
when the, when they were in the middle of putting in a new security system they got broken into. Was it in, was it an inside job? Did people know that was going on? So they don't actually know who officially did it. You can look it up, it's actually pretty interesting. A bunch of people suspect one of the guards because he (coughs) was very suspicious during the interview. Uh, But- Okay, hence hence unsolved mysteries, okay. Job maybe that were connected (laughs) with IRA or some other type of crime group. But it's a pretty- Kevin knew this one. Thank you, Kevin, because I wouldn't have had a clue. Well, it's in Boston, it it was multi-millions of dollars. They talk about it on the radio a lot. They couldn't, they couldn't replace any of the paintings because that museum, it came about, Isabella Stewart Gardner was this rich lady and she basically filled her house with art and donated it to the city to use as a museum under the stipulation that it had to remain exactly the same. So wow. there's just like a big space on the wall now that has oh, a little bit of black that says this Vermeer would be here. Wow. Oh, they haven't recovered it. No. Yeah. They okay. eventually added like an addition to the museum. So the original house is still the same. I mean, it's a mansion. It's not, I don't calling it a house. But uh, so they can have ex- ex- rotating ex- exhibits, but uh, otherwise it's still exactly, the, it stays exactly the same. It's probably more popular now that there's a big empty hole. There's a museum the like that in Philadelphia. I'm trying to remember the name of it, which was started. Okay. Uh, Number, number 10, one more, um, is the answer is no one knows. Yep. Oh, yay. Yay. That's it. Thank you. I'm sorry for not, not messing up. But that's okay. Oh, you're fine. Oh, that's great. Oh, thank you, Isabella. Good. You didn't Isabella. mess it up. Well done, Isabella. Those are very interesting. Thank you, Isabella. What do people do with these stolen paintings? Because you can't sell them again. They're or you can't alive. sell them on the open market. market. There's, there's quite a, I understand. That there's quite a black market for these things. And yeah. people just hide, hang there, see them for themselves privately. Just, yeah. yeah, looking at the Wikipedia article, they said there was much that they were surprised at the paintings that they did take because there's much more valuable pieces that it was next to. Mm. So, interesting. It's like, it's like a wish list of some multi billionaire and his yeah. other criminal friends who hoard the world's treasures for their own use. The FBI says they're worth 500 million, but the museum is only offering 10 million as a reward. So sounds like oh, a I keep it in my basement where I could sip cocktails. Obviously Count Scarleone, the last of the Jaggeroth. Yeah. Well, wait till <laughs> the next time I, the next time I do a round of pictures of artwork from my apartment, you'll be surprised. Mm. <laughs> okay. That sounds like a city of death to me. Okay, so let's do scores. Thank you, Isabella. Very good job. Was I right or is it city of fear? No, it's city of death. Okay. City of uh, death. Team Bye, beep, beep. This is a test of the emergency, uh, the Washington Emergency Broadcast System. Beep. How many points? Five. Committed I'm, to not being back sold. I'm sorry. How many did you Five. Five. Oh. Why is it Why is it working? Mad at you. It was it was to give us ten. That's why. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know why it's not working. Okay. Uh, committed to not being back. Souls is six. That's really strange. I can't. Oh, there it goes. Okay. Mommy. Oh, girls. Mommy zooming. Seven. Ooh, uh, seven. Help. Ooh. Susan is holding us hostage. People on YouTube, please help us. Four. It missed it by this much. Seven. This much being three in that case. <laughs> okay, so we're passing it over to Faith. Can uh, I have to give her the permission? We had that? six for team one. Because team she one gave has us six. Still a clown. Oh, that's right. Uh, but that was, I got five with that. Which one were? The first I, four and the last two we got. But we didn't get three. Amber's plan we got. No, we chose, no. we didn't, we chose Amber's five. rescue. Okay, sorry. Faith, where are you? Can you sorry. say something? I'm in my craft room. Who's crunching? Who's crunching? Sorry, it's not me. 
<laughs> Red Red crunchy. That's Susan's popcorn. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> All right. So co-host. There we go. Faith is a co-host now. She okay. has the power. The power. Oh, I see it. This is cool. Okay. It's like driving a Ferrari. <laughs> <laughs> Well, not really, but you know. How do you know that, Susan? Hey, I have a, <laughs> I have five Ferraris right outside a Corvette. You know what? I, anyway, go ahead, Faith. What's your category? Okay, my category is quilting because it Ooh, is actually National Quilt Month, and last Saturday was the um like National Quilt Day. So I like this something completely mm -hmm. different. Yes, 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 quilting, yes. Awesome. Yes. Mm -hmm. So I, I, don't, I haven't. I don't know the answers. So. Questions you yet. might you might I, I, you don't I, have I like, to be a like sewing it. expert for this one okay here we go all right so i'll mute everybody don't forget faith that you'll have to unmute yourself in three two one okay all right the first question this nasa this nasa astronaut hand quilted a star inspired quilt block while aboard the international space station in 2013 this block sparked a quilt along with over 2,000 other star inspired blocks created by home quilters, and they were combined into one quilt that was displayed at the International Quilt Festival in Houston, Texas in 2014. Name this astronaut. Okay, the next question. The astronaut from the prior question is also credited with making the first stuffed animal in space. Her husband took his son's stuffed animal, Trimmer, a member of the same family, on August 2nd, 2020, during his flight on SpaceX Crew Dragon. What is the animal? Question three, this Oscar winning American filmmaker is known for his style of using archival footage and photographs in his documentary films. He lent 28 of his 75 quilts from his private collection to the International Quilt Museum in Lincoln, Nebraska in 2018. amazing to find out how little one does not know. <laughs> there are three, this is question four, there are three surviving panels of this oldest known medieval quilt. These panels tell the romantic tragedy of this couple whose narrative predates and most likely influenced the Arthurian romance of Lancelot and Guinevere. And question five, true or false? A safe house along the Underground Railroad was often in indicated by a quilt hanging from a clothesline or window seal. These quilts were embedded with a kind of code so that by reading the shapes and motifs sewn into the design, an enslaved person on the run could know the area's immediate dangers or even know where to head next. Susan, please note yourself. <laughs> okay, question six. This city where the Tennessee and Ohio rivers meet is considered the quilting capital of the world. It is home to the National Quilt Museum of the United States, and it is one of six UNESCO creative cities in the United States. Number seven, the AIDS Memorial Quilt is often thought to be the world's largest quilt. 
However, it is made up of three by six foot individual panels, which are all sewn together and they weigh about 54 tons. This does make it the largest piece of community folk art in the world. Today, the AIDS Memorial Quilt is an epic, uh, is an epic 54 ton tapestry that is dedicated to more than 100,000 individuals across how many panels? Um, you can give me your answer at plus or minus 3,000. Number eight, between 1876 and 1883, Ellen Harding Baker, an Iowan amateur astronomer and housewife, hand-stitched a quilt depicting an accurate model of our solar system. She included in her quilt this transient astronomical event. It is highly speculated that her inspiration was from this famous one in 1835. Others think it was the one in 1882. However, it's more likely that it's the one from 19, or 1874 that inspired her to include this as she frequently traveled to the Chicago Observatory to make observations to ensure an accurate quilt. And question nine, if I ask the staff at my local quilting shop for any of the following, what do I want? A fat quarter, layer cake, charm pack, jelly roll, or a honey bun? It's one of the snacks they always keep behind the register. <laughs> and my final question. Irene Swanson, the current and first female to head the Department of Mathematics at Purdue, at, at Purdue developed the technique, developed the tube quilting technique, which makes creating this particular type of pattern more efficient and accurate. Avi. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. Knowing her, you might not know what, what I'm asking, but it was fun researching, finding out about her. Okay. Okay. I know who she is. <laughs> this is really good. I love how you uh, combine science and art. Yeah, I was thinking the yeah. same thing. There's some space stuff in there that's fantastic. Yeah. I'm a quilter and I don't think I understand the question number nine. I'm, I'm working on it. You should know, Robin, if you are a quilter. <laughs> That's what I'm thinking. I'm feeling pretty stupid right now. Uh, well, yeah, I feel pretty stupid too because I know right, these things. Robin, that's the no true Scotsman fallacy. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a quilter. Okay, does anybody have any questions that are productive? That <laughs> you is the question in question nine, which one of those is really? The one I don't understand. No, the I, I, I don't understand. If I was that, all of these things are the same, the same. thing, basically. Oh, I'll give you a hint. They're a variation of the same thing. Gotcha. Mm -hmm. So you, so so if you went into a quilt store, some and you said that whole name of all those different things, they would reach for some item or whatever. They would <laughs> hand you some item, would, yeah. Yeah. a particular item. Yeah. So we weren't supposed to ask you questions you that give everyone else clues. Uh, is that a clue? It was just it was a, a clarification. clarification. The question. Mm -hmm. All right, it's only guys. You, Rob. I, I have a question on four. Okay. Are you implying that the quilt named in four has a name, and we're supposed to give? I'm that asking name? for the. What I'm asking for is the the panels tell a story of this couple. So the couple that they're the couple that I'm asking for. Okay. Yeah, I worded it kind of like a Jeopardy question. Da, da, da. <laughs> All right, fantastic. I love these topics, different, very different. All right, here we go. I will be going to go to room two, which is the room called, um, oh, uh, Vaxholes. Mm -hmm. So I'll be there in a few minutes, you guys.
But we promise not to be backholes. Yeah, please don't be backholes. So Faith, you, yeah. I will put you, I guess I'd put you in room two and then you just come back out. Oh, don't um, less about this one. <laughs> well, I think, I think I know two of these. And Hopefully a good they're guess. not the same two I might know. And, and, and a good guess at a third. Okay. What, what should we go through one at a time? Who's keeping it's score? Yeah, team, by the way. You are huh. being recorded. Does anybody know one? Can, you repeat, can you repeat it, please? Who wants it, Jane? Uh, yeah. Romero? I think it's Jane. Jane. I can read it. I, I can read it because I've got it up on the screen. Uh, one. The NASA astronaut hand quilted a star, a star inspired quilt block while aboard the ISS in 2013. This block sparked a quilt along with over 2000 other star inspired blocks created by home quilters. They were combined into one quilt that was displayed at the International Quilt Festival in Houston, Texas in 2014, named the astronaut. We know it's a woman because in the next question she uses the word she. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, so it's a female so, astronaut. Would that be Sally Ride? No, nah, not in 2013. I saw a video of a woman that was quilting in space, but I can't remember her name. She was blonde. And, and I don't think Sally Ride was married to a man. Mm. <laughs> oh, that's right. <laughs> and Sorry, guys. too early for this. Was I don't know my I don't know my astronauts. I'll, I gave you the clue that she's a woman. <laughs> yep. Well, yeah. I figured that much. Yeah. Thanks, Rob. That'd be Rob, uh, Carl. Sorry, I called you Rob. <laughs> Remember being recorded. <laughs> this is one of those things that if you don't know it, you don't know it. Yeah. Um, you can't figure it out. Okay, well, we know, we figure it's not Sally Ride, but she's the only woman we could think of. And we'll move to the next one and come back to it. Maybe it'll come to us. Okay. <laughs> the astronaut from the prior question is also credited with making the first stuffed animal in space. Her husband took his son's stuffed animal, Tremor, a member of the same family, on August 2nd, 2020, during his flight on the SpaceX Crew Dragon. What is the animal? Is it a teddy bear? I mean, that seems like it'd be obvious, but... Tremor. Or, or she made a dragon to take on the Crew Dragon. Ooh. I guess dragon. Dragon's good. Well, I, I saw a video of the... I don't know if it was when they, when they had humans, but like... I saw like a, a stuffed earth, but that's not a, an animal. And it was floating in the capsule. But something that flies makes sense, but of course the last ones, everything I thought made sense didn't, so. <laughs> earth would make sense with the nickname Tremor because of like an earthquake. <laughs> but it says it's an animal. Animal. Yeah. I guessed, like Carl, I guessed dragon. I don't know if that's a, part, a memory somewhere or it just. It kind of fits with a dragon. Yeah. And dragons fly. <laughs> okay, number three is going to be Ken Burns. Who? Ken, Ken Burns. Burns. Ken Burns. Okay. I was thinking of um, the guy who did the JFK and all that other stuff. What did oh, the Oliver Oper. Stone. But I, I, Ken Burns makes a lot more sense. Yeah, I think it's Ken Burns because that's his style of using archival footage and photographs is Yeah, I guess that means and Lincoln is quite the museum for quilters. Is that right? There are three surviving panels of the oldest known medieval quilt. These panels tell the romantic tragedy of this couple whose narrative predates and most likely influenced the Arthurian romance of Lancelot and Guinevere. Is that Romeo and Juliet or am I just thinking that's the only thing I no, can No, I don't think so. No. They weren't. They wouldn't have influenced. Ar 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 yeah, influence. Arthur and Guinevere predate Shakespeare by yeah. a what lot. What about Anthony and Cleopatra? It's also Shakespeare, isn't it? Well. No, the real Anthony and Cleopatra. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> um, um, what would Robin Hood and Maid, Mar Maid Marian, was that before or the same time? Robin Hood and Marian were later because that's mm. the era of King John and that Richard Lionheart. <laughs> well, I guessed Anthony and Cleopatra. I, I like that answer. I gotta turn on a light. This room is just way But too I hard. have no real, I mean, 
what are other famous couples y'all that's basically that are old enough and well presumably um is it a fictional couple well. or a real couple I, i'm yeah uh this should be easy. Greek myths. a couple whose narrative what did you say ramiro i would say if there are any greek tragedies like yes. romantic tragedies maybe greek lovers who are they And they have to be ones that didn't turn out well. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Who are the people in Homer? The One thing that causes me to like your, your argument, Karen, is, you know, Lancelot and Guinevere, we're talking about a knight and a, and a queen. So, you know, that that was, you know, the queen and a... The yeah. queen and a, a soldier. If it influenced that. Shall we guess it and then maybe it will come back to it or yeah, something? Yeah, we can just... Question five in. is true. I have a book about the Yay! Underground Railroad. Nice. Oh. I read it and I thought, nah, I'm not so sure about I believe this, but I think it's, I'm sure she wants it true. Isn't that wonderful, though? I mean, isn't the the the, the courage of it and creativity of the spirit, you know, of, of human beings, humans are amazing to, to are. come up with a way to outsmart their oppressors. Yep. Number six, I don't know. We it's, I know I, I've seen it. It's enormous. <clears throat> Where is it at? Missed fine. They it they was for a long time. It was traveling. So I don't know where it finally ended up permanently, but they would bring it out to places where they were doing memorials and they'd spread it out and it would cover like a- No, this is six, isn't it? Six. Yeah, no. this is the- six. Where, where the city. Tennessee and Ohio rivers meet. Oh, I'm sorry. The, I was on to seven. I was wondering how the tr city traveled. That was, yeah. I was waiting for no, no. that. <laughs> it was the quilt that was yeah. traveling. <laughs> we the missed two five. rivers. We missed five. I don't know. We got two. Oh, we got five. The we got five, we haven't done six. True. Six is the city. Okay, Midwesterners, True. Midwesterners, the Tennessee River and the Ohio went, River converge here. <laughs> is it Cleveland? I was thinking Memphis or something like that, but I don't know. Geography is not my straight. My, <laughs> no. I mean, I guess, yeah, I don't, I have no okay, idea Ohio, where these, these rivers meet. Rivers and the Tennessee River. Cleveland, Columbus, Ohio. Um, if it's a creative city, it's more likely to be Cleveland. Cleveland is known for creative stuff. I've been to but, Cleveland. I think I would have gone there, but I don't, maybe not. Um, maybe you have to go back, Susan. I mean, yeah, it's been not 30 Not necessarily years. in Ohio. It's not necessarily in either Cleveland, uh, Ohio, or Tennessee, but. Right. Could it be Memphis? No. I mean, oh, I don't think. No. Um, I was thinking because it's creative, like music and stuff. How about Memphis, Columbus? Nashville. Ramiro, what were you thinking? Which town? Memphis, because of the music, but, but I don't know if it's near any of those rivers. Yeah, I don't think it's near those rivers. How will we decide? We've had um, Cleveland, we've had Columbus, we've had Memphis. How will we decide? I'm not sure even it's one of those. Mm. Should we do a vote or should people, because we don't really know, so we really can't convince people because we don't know. Could it be, um, hey, what does the Ohio go through? That's a north-south one, right? By the Mississippi? Or is it the one that runs? They don't run straight. Horizontal? Could it be New York? Syracuse? No, no, no. no. That's on the Erie. Got to be west from there. Indiana? Tennessee and Ohio. Illinois? Lincoln, Nebraska? <laughs> <laughs> You would know that, Jane, right? Yes. If it was yeah. Nebraska, it would be Omaha, because that's the creative place in Nebraska. Omaha? Yeah. Omaha's on the Missouri. Okay, well, that that's rule that out. No. What uh, about Branson for, for creative and 
It's got to be a fairly well-known place, right? Honolulu. I imagine it's a big city. Creative cities. Um, let's go to seven. <laughs> Yeah, let's yeah. go to seven. So seven is watch. around 100,000. Um, Cleve Jones, uh, I don't know the number, but I know it's around 100,000. I don't know what the plus or minus is because I'm friends with Cleve Jones on Facebook and he mentioned something about it. Uh, there was discussion and some people gave specific numbers in the 90s and someone else said over 100,000, but it is definitely around 100,000. How do we say 100,000 then? Well, because, Why me? because I think other people are going to say 100,000. We should say 100,000 and one that, that it's going to be exactly 100,000. Let's take a risk and go a little higher or a little lower. What do you, What's you think? What's the plus or minus? 3,000. Plus or minus 3,000. 3, yeah. So let's do either like 104 or 5,000. Or like Ooh. ninety six or ninety five thousand, something like that. And stitched a quilt depicting accurate one. So the 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 weight is uh, fifty. Or if we can't decide, so one hundred thousand, right in the middle. <laughs> the weight is one hundred is fifty four tons. So I don't know how much would a little quilt piece. <laughs> Um, is it a math question? Is it is it that each panel is only for one person? And if we do the yes. math, we can exactly figure it out. Each panel is for just one person. I've well, seen then let's just do the math. It's more well, than well, if people made a quilt square for them. And when I say let's do the math, I mean you do the math. <laughs> <laughs> Who's doing the math? The royal we, right? Good one, Carrie. Have a calculator. <laughs> But how much do we want to say the each piece would weigh? Are we supposed to? To what degree of certainty? A hundred percent certainty. There's, there's going to be a big margin of error in any calculation we would come up with based on weight. I just want to say this is a lot of fun. It is. It is. Watch. I want to do another category. Yeah, it is fun to watch. It is frustrating because you think they're so easy. But it's fun. And I thought I made them easy, but it's turning out it's not that. Yeah, no, it's, it, not. it's really interesting to watch people talk themselves out of the right answer and or just like way out there somewhere else. Yeah, it's fun. I'm moving to um, so 54 tons is 108,000 pounds. So let's say, uh, shall we say 108? That's fine. <laughs> I don't care. Number eight is the, is it what Haley's Susan's comment? Moving on. So I guess no, we are. No, it's not saying, Haley's comment. Uh, it's, probably, is, it's probably a solar eclipse. Yeah, I would. Yeah, that sounds. Yeah, it's not Haley's comment. Yeah, because yeah, it's, it's different. There's years, way too so. many in the same mm -hmm. century. And having them happen periodically like that, I yeah. like the idea of a solar eclipse, and you could put that in. Okay, number nine, I, I don't know. I put I've never filler. heard any of these phrases. I put filler or padding. Do you know what I mean? They sound like they might be stuffing uh -huh. types or something. You yeah, know what? That makes true. good sense. It's the, it's of the, the donut. Filler. It's it's yep. the stuff you put in the middle of the quilt. Right. Um, it's called um batting. 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 You know what? I think you're right. I didn't I was thinking a I was thinking for a minute the um a thimble, but I I think you're no, right. Batting that's it. Batting sounds right. That's, that's, right. It goes right to um, Jelly Roll. You, I think I, I'm almost positive you're right there, Karen. Good job. Layer cake, yeah. The current and first. So how much did we say for number seven? You, we said 150,000? 8,000. 106,000. 106,000? Salute. Thank you. Okay, Gail, you're saying 106? I thought that's what he had said was the math. No, no. no uh, I said that uh, 54 US tons is equal to 108,000 pounds. And that would say each one of these squares was a pound. Yeah. So let's get, right 
let's guess a little different number in case someone else does the math the same way and go just like a little lower or something. And yeah, say the price is right. 100 and, 106 or like Gail said. That might I'm, be it. 106, 105. Yeah, yeah, 105, 106. You I'm pick. fine with either does of those. Sound, okay. But does it sound right that each Two panel would be about a pound? Which makes cream. Hard to tell. I mean, because you can really adorn them as you please, right? Some people yeah. might stitch like little buttons and little metal things and others, you know. But the know. weight was mostly the square. Yeah, yeah. Okay, question 10. I'm thinking it's this particular pattern. It sounds like, I mean, it, like if you make a tube and you, I've never heard of this, but if you were to wrap it in a tube, you would make, and then you undid it after you did it as a tube, it would make a really easy uh, stripes. Like if you were doing something in a, a linear stripes. Where's Leonard's, what, what's her name? Priva? Leonard's yeah, wife. Priva. We need her this week. Our, my family is a big quilting family, but she was I wasn't really as much. Well, what really they're looking for is the pattern, right? Yeah, is so it's not stripes? like a star pattern or anything like that. That doesn't make sense. So it feels like if you took a tube and you wrapped the tube and then you stitched it that way and then undid it when you were done and laid it out flat, it seems like it would come out with nice even lines. So, so it would be some stripes. sort of stripes. But huh? I've never heard of a pattern called lines or anything. I mean, the pattern would be like, um, you know, there's a star pattern and there's, there's a uh, wedding ring patterns. Um, well, there are dozens and dozens of patterns. Yeah, but I, I can't think of anything that would be called just- A uh, prisoner. Is there a prisoner pattern? <laughs> a striped pattern. I mean, there's scrap. I mean, you used to make scrap quilts, but that didn't need any precision. Is there a name for the ties that have the, the stripes on them that run, you know, on an angle? Is, that, is there a name for that? Probably. Um, There's a Lincoln Lincoln Logs quilt. What about if it's something like chevron or houndstooth? Chevron is like a V stripe. You, and the houndstooth is when they go like this kind of. Yeah. yeah. That looks like a gangsta. Susan, you look like a gangsta. <laughs> when you, I'm from East Salinas, man. <laughs> so um, hound, maybe it's houndstooth or, or chevron because that would be stripey, but a shape of stripe. Right. So, and it would make sense because of the, the repetition yeah. and the mathematics, right? A, the mathematics is a, a Lincoln log good. is where they um, kind of like you lay a tile pattern where one's like this and the other one's right here. And then, um, I, don't, I just don't know. I feel silly because I don't know these. I, I don't know these. Either. Okay, what are we missing? Can we this read the number six. Carl? Uh, we have nothing for number one. Number six also, right? We, we got nothing for six. Okay, so we're looking for a female, female heterosexual uh, astronaut female recent. astronaut. <laughs> and I'm embarrassed that this is Women's Women's uh, History Month, and I don't know. <laughs> History Month. Jane right Jetson. There? Is what? that a name? Or are you just Jane Jetson. Oh, Jane Jetson. Yeah, you see, the other group that I have that you play trivia with has something called a creative prize. When you don't know the answer like this one, you can make up an answer. <laughs> and if it's good and everybody decides it's a very creative answer, you can win the creative prize. That would have been a great creative prize. Jane answer. Jetson. <laughs> like what, you know what we would have said, Susan, for what is the real name of, uh, what was the real name of Jack the Ripper? John the Ripper. Oh, Jack. <laughs> but his friends called him Jack. Yeah, that makes sense. So I can't believe we can't name one female astronaut that is recent. Okay, sure. who heterosexual. Shirley Space Woman. Who was the first one we said? <laughs> Sally Ride She's was born. the first. Let's and I don't remember Sally. anybody after that. Let's put Sally Ride down. Okay, Sally Ride. You got it. She's blonde, I think. We're going to ride or die. Right. We know that that's wrong. Well, <laughs> And two, what did we put? Dinosaur? Dragon. 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 Three was, we know that one. Four, 
What do we put for Anthony and Cleopatra? We put yeah, Anthony. Okay. And, and the five we know is true. Six. What do we put? We haven't picked one. Columbus. There you go. Columbus. We picked it. I, I did. Columbus isn't as likely as Cleveland if you want to do Ohio. Columbus okay. is the capital. But is, but is Cleveland on the Ohio and Tennessee rivers? Why don't we vote between Cleveland and Columbus? Let's just do a flat vote. Okay. How are we voting? No <laughs> Aaron, you're in charge. Okay. Okay. So we're doing it simultaneously. One will be for Columbus and two will be for Cleveland. And we'll do it simultaneously. And I'll go one, two, three. And on four, we all hold up our fingers at the same time. One is Columbus, two is Cleveland. Okay. And I'm going to do a rhythm. So when it comes to four, put it your hand on four. <laughs> this is gripping, gripping TV. One, two, three, four. No, you guys did on five. <laughs> Carl <laughs> didn't vote. <laughs> I don't have a strong preference. Between okay, but you are the tiebreaker now, friend. It's not right, a tie. So it's three to two. Between oh, it's three Columbus to two. Columbus and Cleveland. Oh wait, wait. I'm sorry, Gail. What was it? Three to two for Cleveland. Three to two. Okay, Cleveland wins. Okay. Cleveland wins. I just don't think it's on the Ohio River. That's the only reason why I'm thinking. Okay, but seven, eight, nine, ten. That may be. I'm I don't okay know. with Cleveland. It, it's it might more not likely be to be right Cleveland than Sally or... Ride. Yeah, that's true. Okay, seven, we've got an answer. I think a prerequisite for number one is it has to have been a heterosexual female astronaut. Do you know one? The Recent. At the time. Do you know yeah. one? Oh, the one that wore the diapers. Yeah, I was, that's the only one I could think <laughs> that of. Was that was a guy. Oh, yeah, either. the crazy that was woman. A guy. They, were quilted. they were quilted diapers. <laughs> <laughs> that was a guy, and that was like in the 90s, I think. This is something. Oh, it was a woman. She was yeah, wearing something woman. that. Yeah. To get mad at her lover. Yeah. And drive across. I, I thought uh, we had this as a category. Jane, tell, her, tell her, Jane. Yeah. There was a crazed astronaut who was jealous and she put on Ooh. diapers to go. I don't do, even think Sally oh, Ride was yeah, alive. I anymore. remember that. To go do a bad deed. She was a woman scorned with diapers and an astronaut's degree. She drove oh, sad that that's oh, what was there, was there, was a tax, there was a tax thing. She yeah. went up into space or she got divorced. And the diapers were in, quilted. She was in space and he was, I don't know anything about diapers, but there was this tax thing and they were saying this might be the first case of tax law involving outer space or something. <laughs> and that was recent. I have no idea what her name was, but at least I remember that. Yeah, I, I think that I think the, the, the crazy drive across country in a diaper to murder someone <laughs> woman was also far earlier than 2013. Okay. Oh, I remember that. Yeah, I remember yeah. that. She wore diapers. I think, that I had think, nothing to do with an astronaut. Yeah, I, I think okay. Sally Ride was probably had already passed away by 2013. The yeah. ghost of Sally Ride. That's our answer. A heterosexual <laughs> ghost of Sally Ride. The reincarnation Ride. of Sally Ride. Yeah. Okay, sense. but what's seven, eight, nine, ten, you guys? Seven is 105. 105. Okay. Okay, eight was a solar eclipse. Solar eclipse. Nine is the bunch of that you got the inside stuff of it. Adding. Mm -hmm. Adding. And 10 is. I like Karen's analysis. Yeah, it's but what is the guess. word we're using? You I have two sorry, of them. I Which one have two suggestions. Gave two. For 10? Yeah. The idea of the, the repetition of the, of the symbol oh, that you were talking about. Tooth or the chevron. Yeah, sounds too. Sound, I like the sound of sounds too. It's a nice sounding. Watch is going to turn to be Lincoln Logs <laughs> or stripes. Just Which stripes. one is more likely to be a a, a quilt though? I know that there. I've never heard of a hounds tooth quilt. I know there is a Lincoln zigzag. Log quilt. What about zigzag? Yes. Yeah. I suspect it's going to be something. Like see, that. there's a name. They call them a name. Yeah, like there's a wedding a ring pattern. There's a there's a Lincoln Log pattern. There's a scrap pattern. There's there's their names. So, names. Huh? so I'm. Is there I, I don't anything know that's not like a chevron that you know the name of? There's a double wedding ring. There's a wedding ring. There's star. There's. Are, are any of those stripes? Well, since Susan knows all the, the, the names, they're all circles. 
I'll pick, I'll defer whatever Susan wants to guess. Yeah, should we go with Lincoln? <laughs> I don't know what I want to guess. And then we can, then we can blame Susan because that's your tradition. Is always uh, we'll be, that's, that's a good idea. idea. That'd be great. Um, do we go with Lincoln Log since that is the name of I know it's flat. Or do we want to go with lines or do we want to go with something circular? Because we could use stars or wedding ring or double wedding ring or. Okay, double wedding ring. Is that's round? Yeah, it's round. But how does round translate to a quilt pattern? It's on a tube, which is round. A tube which is round and mathematics and circles. But if, Just say but wedding if you unroll the tube, it's not round anymore. Just, I know when you take it off the tube, it's flat. I don't get it. But if you say wedding, let's <laughs> it's now. It's round. It's Are you guys round. in the last uh, last question? Yeah, we're in the last question. How's okay. everybody else doing? Okay, double Who's wedding ring or just wedding ring? Okay, we got to be done, you guys. Double or single wedding just ring? Just single. See, that's just that's just a reason that. to argue against either one of the wedding rings. <laughs> Never hurry when a wedding ring is involved. You're right, Carl. Okay, we're done, right? Yep, we're done. Yeah, yeah good job, you. team. I hope I didn't go <laughs> far astray. All right, I'll go back in the other rooms and let them know to wrap it up. No, you can stay here and we'll all, we'll, we'll invite him back. Okay. Faith, make sure, yeah. Faith, make sure you go to the room that you were She's in. in I'm, room on a, I'm on a different oh, account. Oh, yeah, she so. goes back to the chair. She's in that chair. I go down there. the hallway. Oh. Going down. All right. Yeah, there. I've seen a couple of articles saying that uh, long haulers have uh, had some symptom improvement after being vaccinated. Yeah, I, I, yeah, I saw those. It's like I've um, got my fingers crossed for that. And uh, Well, across everything. Yeah. <laughs> hard, hard to drive with your eyes crossed. Well, you don't have to cross it all the time. <laughs> so maybe is, just while being vaccinated. So what's the biological explanation for that one? I don't quite understand. I have uh, not heard I have not heard a good one. Yeah, it's interesting because um, the body's already been invaded by the thing. It's already, yeah, but it already so knows the, how, yeah. But then the uh the question the the body can um instigate a response at a at various levels and one of the advantages of the way the vaccines are constructed is they contain adjuvants which irritate uh the body and say okay this is something bad Do really something. uh ramp up your defenses against it mm. um so it, it it may just be that simple April, were you here the whole time or did you just come out right now? I just came back. I accidentally closed out of the Zoom call altogether rather than the meeting and then I needed to grab a question. I was going to say, this is a great category for you. I bet you knew them all. Faith, by the way, it's Irina Swanson. not Okay. Thank you. Okay, Doki, Artichoke. All right. It was a really good category. I am interested to hear some of the answers. But I am really shocked that I, I knew as little as I knew. Okay. I'm a family. I'm born and raised in a family of quilters. It's been around me. I'm at, curious. At the uh, I want to kind of get. What did you guys pick for number one? I'm curious. I heard yeah. some really interesting things. Jane Jetson is what Karen came up with. I'm <laughs> embarrassed that we didn't know. You said John and Maureen Robinson. How how in, it, how in the world are you supposed to know the name of some random astronaut? No, it's a female. She is not some freaking random She's astronaut. She's a female okay? recent astronaut. So? And I'm embarrassed that it's Women's Month, History Month, and I can't know it. <laughs> I thought it was interesting. One group was talking about the crazy astronaut woman that wore diapers. <laughs> I don't think she um, got into space. Just to let you know, the astronauts and one and two are still married. <laughs> still married. Um, the, the astronaut is Karen Nyberg. Oh, yes. So yes. She there actually were, took we up were, a she took up a hand like a hand quilting kit and showed live on the ISS how we had Karen she Berg. hand stitches. How do you how spell she had Karen? It's yeah, I NY think that qualifies as some -E random female astronaut. <laughs> she is not some random female astronaut. I'm embarrassed. I'm going to read a Wikipedia page as okay. pins after this is over. Yes. And number two. Um, she had hand stitched a Tyrannosaurus Rex. Oh, so it's Darn. a dinosaur. Oh, dinosaur. dinosaur. Yes, her husband is Doug Hurley, and he is the one. If you watched the um, live stream while they were lifting off, if you saw the sequin dinosaur, that was a beanie baby that belonged to his son called Tremor. I think I do remember him. this now. 
Yeah. It was very cute. Oh, now you're it was a green dragon. It was, it was, I think had a green bottom or a pink bottom. It was a brontosaurus, somebody had said. I wonder it, yes, it was. And NASA had an official name for it. It was a zero G indicator. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. It's pretty, I learned that it's very common for um, astronauts to take up stuffed animals and things like that. But It had a pink bottom. Are you sure it wasn't a stuffed baboon? No, it was a stuffed <laughs> sequin dinosaur. <laughs> uh, it was interesting. Karen, the, the stuffed animal that Karen actually made aboard one of her other ISS stations, I think used leftover fabric from one of the Russian astronauts' bags or something like that. Oh, neat. So, mm. um, not, not, not quite connected, but it's a, it's, a, it's a material fabric question. Did everyone hear that the, the piece of the right flyer is on the yep. uh, helicopter yes. on Mars? It's amazing. Yep. <laughs> Number three is uh, shockingly enough, it is Ken Burns. Yes. Ken Burns Whoa. collects quilts. <laughs> um, <laughs> and he has one. one. Mm -hmm. There's actually a little short on YouTube, a documentary where he goes through the quilts he has. And he actually has a very large one that was made with the NRA symbol and logo. He collects a lot of red, white, and blue quilts. Hmm. So I thought is that he was an Oscar that. winner? Yes, he when, is an Oscar. How, what, for what did he win an Oscar? Because he mostly stuff. Hmm? Documentaries, I don't know which. Uh, His documentaries, he's done um, Vietnam. Yeah, but those are all like PBS things. No, uh, he's done oh, some. No, they're, they're, not. Here. they're films. No. Yeah. All right, no arguing with Faith. Be nice. <laughs> no, we were right, so I'm not going to argue. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Can I can I jump back to the astronaut for a minute and the uh -huh. joke about the joke you made about not wearing the diapers? Um, yeah. There's a there's a pretty funny song by someone named Molly Lewis um, called Road Trip. And if you'd like to hear her talk mm -hmm. about the, uh, sing about the astronaut taking a road trip. Don't know your oh. diapers and, and, and all. Okay, it's in the I chat, you guys. The, I just put the link in the chat. Thank you. Here comes my cat to learn more about it. Okay. Uh, question four, the, uh, the romantic couple on the quilt is Tristan and Isolde or Isolde. Um, Somebody knew that. Can you, Tristan? Ooh. What? Ooh. Isalda. It's I, I've heard it pronounced uh, Isalda. Or, how do you spell it? Isalda. 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 Somebody Isalda. tell me one person. I S O L D E. Thank you. Well, I've never heard of him before. It's commonly referred to as the Tristan quilt, and there's three surviving panels of it. Um, I think Italy has two, and France has the other. Okay. Yeah, I'm sorry. And, and the Vatican doesn't have one? <laughs> the Vatican does not have one. Okay, no. I probably should have put Oscar nominated American uh, filmmaker. I yeah. apologize. I would have I would have picked somebody else. So we got it right. We, we, got, it right. we got it right. Oscar. We got it right. We got it right too, but it's still <laughs> we're we gotta be pendactic. Mm -hmm. Pedantic. Okay. <laughs> the Alan next question. Not have it yet, Alan, the Vatican does not have it yet. It's on their yet to be stolen list. <laughs> next question about the Underground Stolage. Railroad and quilts. This is actually false. Oh. Um, there was a book that came out back in the 1990s that the made book. this claim, and it is passed around uh, multiple, like people hold on to this. I've even seen homeschool videos on YouTube that have. The, like they'll talk about the log cabin, the flying goose pattern, and the historians have looked into this. There, they can find no evidence to show that this I was told a you legitimate, guys that I, I, wow, I that a legitimate, a legitimate thing. I own the book. Uh, Just remember, uh, and most I read YouTube it. videos I said, this is are BS. false. Here comes Kyle. Mm -hmm. I Richard said, Saunders, new category, a new a new segment for him? a new segment for your podcast, fake history, yeah. fake, fake history. Fun. Wow. Faith, I read the book and I said, this is not, this makes no sense. That's and the then only I looked, instance. I looked it up. I said, this is all BS. But then I kept the book because I like the pictures. And I thought, well, Faith is, you know, maybe Faith thinks it's real. So it's, and I, I looked into with this. It. I looked into this and historians have not been yeah, able to I find heard anything that confirms it, which is a shame because if you want to talk about African-American history and quilting in Alabama, oh, yeah, there's, there's the Gee's Ben Quilting Bee, um, which is black women um if the plantation owner formerly owned that area and these women continue to sit and quilt prominent patterns that have been passed down um, from other their ancestors and sit and talk and make these beautiful beautiful linear pattern quilts and 
I think it's a shame that we still perpetuate these old myths instead of talking about some really, really cool Absolutely. parts of our history. Mm -hmm. um, wow. Is there, there a Wikipedia hidden, page? Is there a Wikipedia hidden, page? Uh, yeah, they're called the Geese Bend. Uh, Geese Bend Quilters. I thought it was hidden in plain Susan, text. do you still have your quilting bee photo or a picture? Quilting bee? Wow. I don't know. You used to have it in the small bathroom. Oh, yes, I sure yeah. do. So it, um, it's called Quilts of Geese Bend. They have a Wikipedia page and they're in Alabama. Um, and it's a group of, of women that sit and hold a quilting bee. Um, I can send a link I to it. I should do have that. No, I meant, is there a Wikipedia page that uh, perpetuates what you're saying is untrue about these being directional and maps? And I think there is, there is a Wikipedia page on the history of quilting, and I think they do mention it on that page. If there but was I, only someone that knew how to edit mm -hmm. correctly. Well, yeah. do, they, do they mention it as if it's true, or do they mention it and as here, if it's true? Here's a newspaper article I have in my book. It's about, about the codes and stuff like that, and it was saying that it was fake, but the book says it's real, and, and it's, it's fake, but the quilt, the pictures in here are so pretty that I just kept the book, even oh. though it's <laughs> Wow. Fake. But they have some beautiful patterns. Look at these things. And there might be. It might I don't. Be. They just can't prove it. Well, and there, and there is, and that's why it's false. Is because there's just they haven't found any evidence to show that, that this is a true phenomenon. Russell's teapot. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So number six. That doesn't uh, exist. <laughs> number six, prove the it. the city that it's is considered the, the city that's considered the quilting capital of the world. Um, is Paducah, Kentucky. <laughs> yes, I heard oh, one on. or two groups. Close. Yes, Paducah. How do you spell it's Paducah? P A D U C A H or P A D U C H. Oh, we were, we we were, we were so close. Is it a suburb of Cincinnati? It is not. <laughs> it is not. <laughs> it is not. I thought. I thought giving the hint about where the two rivers meet because Kentucky is right smack dab in the middle of Tennessee and Ohio. Right. Like sandwiched right in there. Kentucky, huh? Mm -hmm, Kentucky. Uh, number seven, the AIDS quilt. So uh, it was interesting hearing you guys compare how much they weigh to how big the panels are. Um, there's actually the total number of panels is 48,000. This is according to the AIDS Memorial quilt website. There are 48,000 panels that they have sewn together. So it wasn't the number of people. It wasn't the number of people. It's not the number of people. Some panels ah. have more than one person. Um, and so these quilts are sewn, they're individually sewn blankets. Sorry, team. Slipped that, out. The, the, the math doesn't work there. So I like they would have got it right does. otherwise. It, it, if, it, it, yeah. if, if one of the those panels is three like pounds, if one of those panels is three pounds, which I find that is even too light, it's 34,000 comes out the math. So I, I don't understand that. Moving on. You're going to so have they're lighter than that. <laughs> well, yeah, that doesn't these, seem reasonable for something three by six. Some of these quilts are not totally 100% cotton. So they can sew in other types of objects and material into these quilts. It's whatever yeah, but I guess I'm saying they'd have to be like, like two pounds each for something that big, three by six. That seems. Well, we, we well, waited you're, well. what, what you don't. Okay. With quilting, um, it takes three layers. So you have the top layer of fabric. Then you have the batting layer and then you have the back layer of fabric. Mm -hmm. So depending on what you are choosing to use, and this quilt also, it sits on a tarp. So they display it out on a tarp as well. So that they well, can see these things around. Is the same question is how many eggs it takes to make the this, largest I got this information exactly <laughs> from the AIDS Memorial Quilt website. Okay. How big was the so what's for the this? answer? 48,000. But yeah, wasn't each panel done for every person who had it? So no. shouldn't it be over hundred thousand? No, no. no uh, you, in order to, um, in order to be considered into this panel, um, you have to you nominate a person. And if you want to, I'm going to put a link into the um, chat. And they actually currently, because of COVID nineteen, have an interactive memorial, so you can see all the different panels. So, so again, I don't believe them. I just use your numbers. That means each panel, three by six, is two pounds. So, okay. yeah. oh, well, that's, that's about not, right. That's fine. Seems like yeah. that's what I said to begin with. Yeah. yeah, I don't think two pounds sounds like a bad like a bad number. 
I no, weighed a quilt of mine that was about that size and it weighed one pound, 12 ounces. Oh, then why were we going like five pounds, 10 pounds each? Oh, okay, oh look at on. these. I have, I have some padding. The answer she is looking for oh, is yes. $48. And and I have for those of you oh. viewing on YouTube, this happens all the time. This is not the point where time. Richard says, this moving is, along. This is my first anyway. time. This is my first time. <laughs> Guys, be so, nice to Faith. Okay, you lie, Faith. All the quilters just totally misled us about how it's heavy okay. It's okay. Let me know when you want to mute. I can mute anytime please mute, you want. Please mute. Please mute. Please mute. Okay. okay. Next answer. Number eight, Miss. Um, the uh, the answer I am looking for is a comet. Yay! Yay. It's a comet. Oh, you guys. A hmm? comet. A non. I told you it was Haley's comet. comet. Mm -hmm. Uh, and, we, and we don't know which one it was. Um, her, it's not Haley's Comet. It's I know. Not Haley's we, Comet. We, we ended up saying the sun. Um, Pedantic. Eclipse. Thank you. Um, <laughs> what's a shame is that this quote is actually hidden inside the Smithsonian. It's actually not on display. Mm. And it's oh. um, everybody credits her as an astronomer, but I could not find anything. Her Wikipedia page needs cleaned up <laughs> because of this. Um, oh. but I could, Note that, Susan. This is her, this is um, the Smithsonian's actual webpage to look at this quilt. Um, the Royal Astronomical Society in England is, was celebrating their bicentennial. And before COVID-19 happened, they were trying to recreate this quilt top and people were creating different panels um, on the back. Somebody had done a lovely, lovely little small piece of the James Webb telescope. Other people had done their own interpretations of embroidery for galaxies. If you search for um, hashtag RAS quilt on Instagram, you can see some of these panels. Oh, I actually got, I, I sat in on a Zoom call with them in October where they were doing their quilt along to just see what some of what they were doing and to get some information because this is just, this woman had no scientific background or knowledge <laughs> and she traveled to Chicago and looked through a telescope to be able to I mean, the Galilean moons are there. Saturn's moons are there. Uranus's moons are there. Like it's just. But she got the but she got the comment wrong because the tail should be facing directly away from the sun. So just somebody, no, it should. Somebody mute Rob. <laughs> yeah, no. yeah. I mean, I'd like to see you hand embroider switch top. Yeah, one, yeah, you know, Rob. Of that, Rob. You know, at a time, you know, and sadly she died. I think about at age thirty six of tuberculosis. Oh. So, mm -hmm. That was my grandma, same thing. Yeah. Tuberculosis. I, I will say it's interesting though that 1882 and 1874 are actually also transit of Venus years. Oh, That's a I did not know that. Yeah. Just I say. looked it up. Next. Next question. So fat quarters, layer cakes, charm packs, jelly rolls, and honey buns are pre-cuts of fabric. So I'll take fabric. Fabric cuts, pre cuts oh, of fabric. No! Hey, Robin. You, you did not know that, Susan? <laughs> no, Karen had yeah. a really good idea. She thought it was a ba banting. And I said, oh, that makes sense. That's 100%. I only right, learned Karen. this. I know you're right. right. Trying to learn so how the to re sew. Yeah. When, you go to a, when you go to like Joanne's Fabrics, they sell jelly rolls and fat quarters all over mm -hmm. the place. It's just I can understand fabric. not knowing everything after fat quarters, but even before I sewed, if I went into a craft store, the fat quarters were unmissable. Yes. Yeah. I actually have, this is a, Every this right fabric here, section has got fat this quarters. is a jelly roll. So it's just pre-cut fabric that they have mm -hmm. that um, quilters like this because it, you can make quilts really quickly because all this is pre-cut. There's no washing, no ironing. Um, you know why? Because my family never. You said that. washing. You said you washing. Know, I, I, know that. That. I, know I that. say wash. I never, never do that. that. The same language is <laughs> our own okay. fabric, by it's the way. Contagious. Okay. Number You're ten. So number ten. I was shocked that I thought I was going to make this so easy, um, but the type of pattern that this. Um, so Irina Swanson actually made this big, huge dissertation. She developed this tube quilting technique, where you would take all of these strips and sew them together in a tube, offset a little bit, and cut them in particular ways to make half square triangles, all these different shapes. So it's made, if you want to do a tessellating <laughs> or tessellation or tiling pattern with your quilt, this makes it so much more accurate and so much more efficient. So the answer Never. I'm looking for is tiling or tessellation. Huh. Hmm. And nobody got it, right? Sorry, team. 
Ghost. The ghost of Punch and Judy. I'm oh. sorry. We're <laughs> gonna do a lot ghost better than we did on Punch and Judy. This is the last question. Oh, nothing like Punch and Judy. This is the last question I researched. This hey. is a really new technique. I have a question. Oh, I think my mother was doing that, and I thought she was making a log cabin quilt. Would that be a tiling pattern? Am I remembering? Our wrong? Answer so it might cabin. be something else. So no, like a tile, a tiling. So you, if you did a log cabin pattern, the whole quilt would have to be repeating patterns of the log cabin. Mm -hmm. So what I'm talking about is the 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 deck is it's a pattern, a tessellating type pattern with whatever your material is. So if you're making stars, half square triangles, uh, whatever, it's you want a tessellating pattern in your quilt, and that's that's really why okay. she developed this technique. Okay, um, she's I actually know, a sure. quilter. I didn't uh, finding this out. I was googling to try to find some interesting weird fact question and she popped up because i was looking for mathematics and quilting uh because it's what's interesting is that i think the university of wisconsin and eau claire they actually have a math class that they teach kids geometry by teaching them quilt te quilting techniques oh, wow. awesome. um, and it's i looked at this and i was thinking what's a, why don't we do this in schools because mm -hmm. nasa like JPL has a whole floor of sewists. Like the last people that touched Perseverance was the woman that was fitting on the um, protective coverings of it. The sewists touched these equi this equipment last. Like the James Webb telescopes and the solar scopes and things, those heat shields, they had NASA, They have to talk to sewists to tell me, how do we sew Teflon together this way? Like, I need you to take this material and this Teflon and how do we sew it all together to get this to work? Like on the um, space shuttles, every single one of those white panels was hand quilted by a sewist at NASA. Hmm. And like we, and we just think, oh, they just made the spaceship. They made the spacesuit. So no, they're, they're the ones they're. who's making the shit so you don't fucking freeze to death, man, and you don't burn up on re-entry. <laughs> you you I'm, need to crack some sewage so that you can come back in this place, okay? Nobody's gonna believe that we had we had this discussion, and, and thankfully I'm taking. Yes, it. I am. Good a job, huge. good job, Faith. We're yes, it should it. be steam instead of STEM because fabric arts are a huge part of science and mathematics. I'm off my soapbox. <laughs> Okay, the lowest score is going to get uh, Kyle. So hopefully, we'll see. Okay, so the team. Help! Susan is holding us hostage. People on YouTube, please help us. Um, Look at what oh, Richard's sorry. got a kangaroo. Where is it? Can't, right, I can't find Richard. Very cute. Oh, there he is. Oh, okay, oh, now. So cute. Uh, so wait, 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 which, wait, which six? Wait. Did, did, Susan, I'm sorry, it's five. Oh, yeah, right. Five. Okay, beep, beep, beep. This is the Tesla Washington emergency broadcast system. Beep. How many did you get? Three. Four. Three? No. Three? Three Dinosaur, four, Ken Burns. Do we change Comet? We got stuck. Oh, of I, uh, yeah, at the last minute. Yeah, I guess th that one, we were talking about it as we left our rooms. Okay, so uh, committed to not being vaxels. We got one. <laughs> <laughs> was that the team I was on? Yes, it was. Yes. We are one. number one. That is my team. <laughs> Sorry. Well done. One. <laughs> you screwed over your own team there. Too bad if, you weren't on it, Faith. If, if you'd have asked me before we got scores if i was going to be the one who knew the only right answer that our team had i wouldn't have believed you <laughs> <laughs> okay oh. it missed us by this much Six. Oh. Ooh. okay girls mommy zooming four That's the sound of the look at look at Faith's reaction. <laughs> I can't see Faith. Here we go. So we are eight, I seven, tried. eleven, nine, and thirteen. So I think committed to not being back holes getting Kyle. Good job. Yeah. If I had just arrived earlier, that would oh. <laughs> oh you knew all about quilting, huh? You There's knew all about tessellating quilts. 
Okay, great job. Do we need a five minute break and, and uh, so on, you guys? Bye, Avi. Okay, wait, 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 take a picture before Avi leaves. Did Avi already leave? Who uh, already left? Avi's what here. He's there. Somebody left. Somebody I'm left. Here. Who left? Okay, who's Aaron? Who left? Several people Aaron, left. Aaron might have left. Aaron left, I think. No, Aaron's there. Yeah. Take a picture before Someone people left. leave. Everyone's Mono here. Left. Just to. Leonard. Who's taking the picture? Leonard. I'm Leonard. trying. All right. Three, two, one. All right. Can we do it one more time? Wait, wait, wait. Let me get my gargoyle. Get your gargoyle. <laughs> that you actually have a gargoyle. <laughs> yeah, it's it's important to crack at least a, a sick joke uh, before taking pictures. All right, we got it. Okay. My other gargoyle is going to be really, really. Good night, Aaron. This good reminds night. me of my mother and. Take my, care, Aaron. Good night, thanks. Your mother, what? Oh, my my former mother-in-law, who is this sweet Hungarian lady, and every time we got together to like take a family picture. Whenever she was taking the picture, she'd say, okay, now everyone smile and say syphilis. <laughs> <laughs> All right. That's good. I like that. Five minutes. And then come back. We got to do our quick announcements and then get on it. You guys are, you guys are too funny today. You're going to postpone the recording or are they going to have that? Yeah, but somebody better remind me to turn it back on. Susan, don't forget to turn the recording back on. I got it. Thank you. Thanks. Oh, look at Susan, turn the recording on. Hi, Mark. Did you remember to put a blank tape in the VCR? <laughs> no, don't do that. You wipe, you wipe over mesh. And I, haven't so seen I meant to say we have the tallest lighthouse in North America. Yes. <laughs> and the one that and was I've moved. signed it. You want to and get the full trivia, you're going to have to set the VCR also. on the really long play. <laughs> okay. We've actually climbed three of them. You know you can get VCR tapes now that go for five hours. Okay. Mm -hmm. Wow. When I, climbed, when I was at the top of Hatteras, there was a um, park ranger there. I mm -hmm. got to talking to him, and he was a cousin of a friend of mine here in Arizona. Uh, wait, did you, did you climb right. it before they moved it? No, after. He climbed it while they were moving it. It was really, uh, wow. <laughs> really tricky. Okay, so let's do our let's do our announcements real quick. I have first thing. Uh, Adrian, can you do a quick, quick, quick cruise cruise thing? Yeah, yeah, sure. We yeah uh, we had our um, very non inspiring cruise de demonstration today. I've been to Celebrity Cruise in live in person things and they do a really good job but boy they need to talk to Richard about how to get proper mics happening and yeah. sound and oh they, my they goodness. They just sounded like salespeople, like they and, were trying to sell me a car. And they were and the, the mics hurt my ears because the, they, there was static and oh it was just it was a very non-professional show but yeah you're right it was it was a bit salesy. Uh, however the, what I've learned is the bookings have to be done by uh, April 22nd if you want a 450 USD onboard credit, etc. But that's for uh, veranda and up. So if you are wanting an inside or uh, an ocean view, then you, th there's not as big of a, a rush. Other than what I was told is I've got a block of rooms, but they're not actual rooms, if that makes sense. I just am guaranteed that I can get those rooms. The longer we wait, if they disappear, so, you know, as you go along, you might end up with a balcony looking into a lifeboat kind of thing. So that's the only <laughs> <laughs> concern that you have. Beautiful, so beautiful. the earlier you book, the better. Uh, so do, do, do we count on you to do that or we or we do it or how do we? Yeah, so what's going to happen now, because you sent me the form. Once you send me the form, uh, they then Colleen will get in touch with you. And you can go on to the website for that particular cruise at any time, pick out the room you want. And if it's available, she can get it for you. And if you want her to contact you sooner rather than later, I can let her know that. But so as soon as you have a room picked out, let me know and I'll make sure she contacts you and I'll let her know the room as well. And she can book it right away. And then, uh, then you, I think you've got, once you've booked it, you've got the 24 hours to make the down payment. 
And it's another thing it says on, on the website, I've got a website up. So if any of you want the information and I will put that in the chat so I don't talk too long because you know me, I can talk forever. I will put that in the, uh, the uh, chat and you can go on to the website and take a look. It does say that it's $950 is the deposit fully refundable. She's been told recently now that it's 900. So she's, she's is that, is that Canadian or US? That's US dollar. Okay. Yeah. yeah. So all the prices online are US dollar because we're aware that most of the people who would be possibly going in this are Americans or from other places in the world. And so we decided to do US and it is a US company. So it kind of made sense to do that. So this is and a trip to the Balkans in July of 2022. Thank you, Susan. For anybody who hasn't paid. A close attention what we're talking about. My brain's not for functioning. Functions. And I'm so glad that we're recording this. Yeah. <laughs> Adrian, can I ask a few questions? Because I watched this thing. Yes. I had like a few questions. First of all, I just wanted to say that they have this thing called the cartoon chef, and I really want to see what that is. Yes. Um, <laughs> just was, uh, anyway, um, so I'm going to just go through them so I don't get. You know, because I wrote them down. Yeah, yeah. Hopefully um, I've got we were thinking about having a meeting on Sunday. Okay. Well, here's the. I'll do them real quick. You don't have to answer them now. Just okay. maybe. Fair enough. Yeah. So, I heard them say at the beginning when they were talking about all the caution that they weren't allowing groups to be group people to get together in groups. So that was a concern because it sounded like that's what we wanted to do. Mm -hmm. um, <laughs> <laughs> would be a problem. Um, I didn't see our dates when they showed the Balkan trip. We had a date yeah they they, pick, they just pick a group that expedia has purchased a bulk from uh -huh. and it just happens to not be ours okay and but then, we have done our own group okay and then um the let me see the onboard credit thing mm -hmm. it didn't seem to be applicable to the inside rooms but i'm, I'm right. not really Sure of the terminology over there so maybe that's I correct it's not applicable to inside or the ocean view it's only veranda and up and that's one of the disappointing things is i've been to these before and they give you anybody who books a credit and they didn't and they usually upgrade like you get other things like free internet or you know none yeah. of, uh, or, or now it's all everyone gets free internet but they could have upgraded the internet to a higher speed because they have that ability now or they could have upped the the drink package so that you can get fancy martinis included. So I guess it's two devices too. So if you have a phone and a laptop, that's it. So if you have two people in the room, you got to argue about whose devices get to be on the internet. Yeah, two devices. Mm -hmm. So if you're each, but if you are each on it, on one yeah. thing, it's fine. And so yeah, you just no, have to I sign know. off if you if you want to go to your computer instead of your phone, you just log off one. And Trust me, you're not going to use your internet at all on these cruise I ships. thought they said it was the <laughs> pricing. Yes, was, you will. Was yeah. Through uh, April second, and I think you just said April twenty second. So no, April second. If I if I said it wrong, uh, uh, Colleen would prefer it if you book it before. Uh, what is it? The end of March, so March 31st, because it's a holiday, it's an Easter weekend, and she won't be able to get a hold of them to get the deal. However, if you're booking inside or ocean view, there's no rush. Okay. So and maybe then, we should do this on Sunday, if you, yeah. if you think. Okay, I mean, well, one other, like a lot one of questions. other thing was, the, it seemed to be that the refund thing was only refunds against a future cruise, not a refund of your money. Uh, no, the, it, 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 your deposit's fully refundable. Okay. And the uh, the thing that you're talking about is the uh, uh, cruise with confidence booking. So you could actually cancel up to 48 hours before the, the cruise goes, but that will not affect us because we're going beyond that. It, we're, we're past that time. So it mm -hmm. only was good till May 4th, 2022. And we're going in, in July. Uh, okay. In put, the, put the link in the chat. And then if you guys Thank want to you. do something on Sunday, that'd be great. Cause there's a lot of things to talk about. Uh, okay. So moving on the Brian Kirby who plays trivia with us a lot, him and his wife, Terry, they have a uh, interviewed me on Tuesday. I want to just put that he did a lot of work to get the interview out today in time for trivia. So I'm putting it in the chat and I've also put it up on Facebook. Uh, so if you're interested in that, I talk about psychics. Um, and you guys also have an awesome gargoyle that I still haven't decided what I'm going to name him. 
That's from Peggy. She's super sweet, and she came. To, he came today. Uh, skeptic Zone. Yes. Coming up on. <laughs> nice. Very official. This week it's episode number six hundred and fifty. Wow. Of the Skeptic Zone, we're going to be interviewing Dr. Siobhan O'Sullivan, who is facing an uphill battle with ovarian cancer, and her advice to women about this particularly nasty form of cancer. We have part three of our interview with Dr. Brad Mackay with Maynard talking about Dr. Brad's new book. Uh, the book's not called Uh, it's called <laughs> Fake Medicine. Mackay. Oh, great picture. That's his new book, so you can hear more about that. And also this week on the Trove segment, we look into the historical reports of Harry Houdini in Australia. That's coming up on the Skeptic Zone, skepticzone.tv. Very good. Never miss it. And always stay to the very end of the dice game or whatever's after there. That's after everything. Go fact yourself. Jim. Go fact yourself. Uh, before that, Richard, Houdini in, in Australia, yes or no? Was he first? Um, a lot of controversy over that still. <laughs> he probably not, but the guy who was first didn't fly very far, but it sort of counted as a flight. So it's you, you it, it's probably fair to say Houdini was among the very first few people to fly in Australia. That's that's okay. probably the best way to look at it. All right. Okay, go fact yourself uh, tomorrow. Well. It's on right now. Uh, you will want to tune in if you are a fan of Dead to Me on Netflix because we have the creator of the show, Liz Feldman, on. She is competing against Jason Benetti, who is one of the voices of the Chicago White Sox baseball team. And you'll want to tune in if you're a fan of 1980s NBC sitcoms or the mockumentaries of Christopher Guest, like uh, hmm. Waiting for Guffman or Best in Show or Mighty Wind. Very good. And in a week, you will hear a review from S. Gerbic on our show. Oh, I did that ages ago. Oh, my gosh. Okay. Well, and, and we recorded it ages ago, and then we had to switch a show. We had to switch the order of shows around, and so we re-recorded a different one for the show that we put earlier because it specifically referenced 2020 and how horrible a year it was. And we shifted yours till now. I thought I'd missed it. So nope, I just thought I'd nope. be hearing it. Oh, yeah, that's great. Week. Fantastic. So Data Skeptic. Well, this week on Data Skeptic, we do a deep dive. Sorry, that's backwards. That's just how cameras work. Uh, with a researcher who looked into some things about the QAnon conspiracy and uh, whether or not there are multiple authors behind it. Oh, wow. Cool. And it was not backwards. It was not backwards. It's backwards. backwards. It wasn't yeah, backwards to, to you, maybe but not just for me. Okay, it's just backwards for you, but I think you know what it is. Data Skeptic Podcast at dataskeptic.com. Thank you. Dataskeptic.com. And April is a unicorn. Nah, nah, nah. Is that a unicorn? It's very cute. Okay. It's a narwhal. A narwhal. <laughs> Are we set? Anything else? Like uh, yeah. For people who still believe in psychics, go to my psychic page and I'll talk you out of believing in psychics. He's going to try. Gonna <laughs> and try. I love your, 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 uh, your psychic page, it's great. I already know what you're going to tell me. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, one last thing, another way if people were to help support the Skeptic Zone is I've set up, some of you have seen this, a new shop with uh, my beautiful artwork. Photography. There it is, Banner. He gave, the, he gave everybody in the chat. Caspian, you asked about the Baltics or the Balkans. Did I say it wrong? You said Balkans, and I was pretty sure you meant Baltics, Baltic. but they're very far apart, and I wouldn't want anybody to get confused. <laughs> it is the Baltic. It starts in Amsterdam and goes to St. Petersburg and goes back to Amsterdam. Right. You mean Amsterdam, right? <laughs> Goddamn. Darn. Darn. Okay, you know, sounds this good. Is, this is the family show. Yeah. Uh -huh. weird. I think I've heard a few F-bombs. Susan's going to have to do some editing. Yeah, I don't edit. Sorry. 
Um, not for this. Okay, so we are up next. It is Peggy, Peggy, Peggy. It better be about gargoyles. Uh, no. Okay, okay. Wait, wait, are we ready? I need to give her powers. Where are you, Peggy, on the screen? There she is. I know where I am. <laughs> okay. Taking my, uh, taking, oh. I still don't have powers. Yeah, you should. Release the radioactive spider. <laughs> yeah, you are. Or the gamma ray beam. All right. You should have them. Nothing Dr. tells me Bowman. I can't. So we're going very down market in popular culture and hopefully easy. Does that make everybody happy? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. <laughs> I don't think I know what yeah, that means. Right. Down market. I well, guess going down Market Street. The category is Godfather movies. All right. Ooh. Okay, I'm out of here. Yes. All right, I'm done. <laughs> Come on, you guys have seen these films. I've never Come seen on. one. I'm I so don't happy. watch gangster movies. That's not okay. every single one. Uh, Come on now. All right, right. You, you, have, you can't seen. just call the Godfather movies gangster yeah. movies. They're not. Yeah. Sure, you can. You know a lot of these from Papa. Oh, well, you'd be incorrect. Though. You'll know them because there's just popular culture stuff. No, nope. when you have a gangster in your family and you try to ignore the whole thing, you ignore all seriously? the things like this. You seriously. got a gangster. In your Lucky family. Luciano, but let's go on. Wait, seriously? <laughs> all right, you guys. Isabella's <laughs> like, settle. Settle. That is, that is settle. Cool. You you settle. 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 <laughs> Kids, settle down. Week, I, mean. I, th I think it's time, perhaps, <laughs> now that we've heard the groaning, we need to mute. All right, I'm gonna mute you in three, two, one. Remember to unmute yourself, Peggy. So the first easy question <laughs> is how many Oscars did Godfather one the first win? The second question is, oh, why is it? Oh, I'm having a hard time with my chat function. Oh, I haven't put it in yet, have I? There you go. All right, second question is, the actor who played the ultimately treacherous Salvatore Tessio also appeared on a popular TV sitcom in the 70s and early 80s. Name the actor and the sitcom. Oops. Hang on, getting the copies. Would it be easier if you just do them all at once at the end, Peggy? Well, perhaps, but it would lack that element of suspense as to whether or not I can actually get them in. Number three, what is the name of the actor who played Fredo, the hapless middle son of Vito Corleone? And we've got copy and we've got back to Zoom. And number four is who is getting married at the beginning of the first film? And number You want five. something more specific than the happy couple? Yes. <laughs> A little more specific as to their relationship to the uh, to the a, a, a of, actual a name. Pair of Italians. Who they a pair of Italians. The question was a great question, Peggy. <laughs> oh God! Sometimes it's so wonderful to have her on my team, even though she's not on my team. All right. the The fifth question is: the Fleur du Lac estate was used in the filming of Godfather Two. Sorry, my phone's going off. And was the location of Fredo's death on what lake is the Fleur du Lac estate found? 
I have that same ringtone. I had to look and see if it was my phone. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> it's the Sherwood Forest. And number six, who portrayed Michael's wife, Kay? And number seven is when Michael kills a mob rival and crooked police captain in a restaurant for revenge, where is the gun hidden that he uses for the kill? And eight. I'm still working with a new laptop. Um, what reason did Brando give for refusing to accept the Oscar for best actor for Godfather One? Which may help you with one of the other questions a little bit. So what reason did he give for not taking that Oscar? Oh, stop it already. So question number nine is what fruit appears in approximately 30 scenes in the three films? <laughs> the three films, this is all three films over 30 scenes. And this fruit is thought to be an ill omen. Caspian salivating over this category. I just know it. Oh, I'm glad someone is. Oh my God, he, I, I can just tell. Caspian is. <laughs> We've had long discussions about these movies. They're not just gangster flicks. Mm -mm, they're very well done. And finally, where does Michael go to hide out? He goes to hide out after killing the mob rivals in the restaurant, referring to an earlier question, but where does he go when he goes to hide out? Terrific and questions. 10 Very questions. Different. I like this. This is good. Good, yeah. I like it that it's it's very different and it's not math and physics. <laughs> I'm, ho I'm hoping for a lot of, you know, eights to tens. I, I hope. I think so. All right. Yeah. Anybody have any questions they have to get out of their system? I just want to ask about the wedding. We don't need their name, do we? I think it's a wonderfully worded question, Peggy, exactly <laughs> as you have it. <laughs> Let me clarify that I will take one. It, it, you don't have to name them both. Okay, so you do need a name. We can, we can vote on that later, but um, <laughs> I think it, it would be, yeah, I think I need at least one name. Okay. All right, you guys. It's not that hard. No. Go to your rooms. Kyle, you're going to be on. Oh, in April, I have to put you back in. Let's see. Score is three. So, April, you are on. Susan, please help us on YouTube. That's four. And Kyle, you are going to go to the losing team so far. See if you can raise their points. Com committed to not being vax holes. I'm going to go to girls, mommy, sibling. I love my gargoyle. Thank you, Peggy. That was very sweet of you. I just need to know what to name him. He does. He can just be Bob, whatever. I want something common. Yeah, I have, but I want to make sure it's not anybody I have a name for. Uh. Janine, are you sleeping? <laughs> Busted. She's just, she's muted too. Hey. Mm -hmm. And it's got a bunch of nominations, but I don't know if it won. 
anything else, and I'm not even sure about screenplay. Three my is a good answer. Be, my guess will be three. All right. Huh. Okay. Two. Hello, team. Number two. Number Hello. two. I don't oh, know what, what the actor's name is. I can't remember his name, but I think he played Uncle Uncle something in Seinfeld. A funny. No, uncle. he was he was Fish on Barney Miller. It was <gasps> Abe Vigoda. Oh. oh, right, right. Yes, that, that other actor I was thinking was in, in other other things. He was on Type Yeah, and it's spin off Fish. Fish. Okay, there are three. I don't know who played Fredo. No, I don't know. I never know an actor's names. What else is that? My, what else? My roommate might know some of these. So Number four, is it through, Connie Corleone? Is that the, the daughter? The daughter of um, mm. the, the godfather? Oh, you're you're actually helping us, Susan. Oh, yes. Yeah. You're, you're on, on our, our team. team for this yeah, round. Yeah, that's why I said, hello, team. Yay. Yeah, I'm on your team. And, and we're being recorded, apparently. And you're being recorded. So I think yes. it's the, the daughter, and I think her name is Connie. Connie Corleone. Okay. I think. Right. And is it Connie? So, so uh, Caspian is really into the Godfather. Huh? Oh my God! If they don't get ten out of ten, I will be shocked. <laughs> but it, uh, yeah, yeah, he took a, a York had a film class, and one of the classes, and they really looked into spaghetti westerns and uh, the Godfather. He was oh, really wow. into it. So I don't know where Fleur de Lac is. Well, probably Lake Como. That's that is uh, the most chichi place in Italy to go to. A but lake. Uh, it's not. It's not in Italy. I think it's Tahoe. Okay. <laughs> I, thought I, don't know. It's I thought it might I be Huron. It's... Where? Huron. Who's, didn't like he Huron? send? Isn't that the question that number eight is connected to? Didn't he send like members of the tribe to? Yeah, is, it could be. That's wrong. But I don't think that has anything to do with, with where this scene was shot. I don't know. Okay. Oh, so Some, the question is just... actually asking us where the scene was shot. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, okay. I thought it was like, what, what lake in Italy is it supposed to be on? Um... Or where, I mean, Fleur de Lac is the name of a real estate on a lake and could easily be Lake Tahoe. Yeah, it could easily I, be. You know what? I it's just one of those things in the back of my head. A bit of trivia I remembered. So if we don't have a better answer, then so in other words, that, that was not filmed on site. I mean, some of this was, was any of the movies. The, none on? of the Godfather takes place in Italy. Okay. Godfather Two takes place in Italy. Okay. All right. Well, let's go with Lake Tahoe. I need to let Susan. She wants to come in. Let me see. Where's the. The person who plays Kay, that is... Um, She's a famous actress. I can't think of who it is. a famous actress. She recently was on the um, Oscars sticking up for Woody Allen. She's been in a lot of Woody Allen movies and she sticks up for Woody Allen. I also stick up for Woody Allen. Um, I don't know who it is. It's Diane Keaton. It's Diane the Keaton. There we go. She was... That was Kay? Oh, yeah. yeah. Something about where is a gun hidden? No idea. Oh, it was a toilet. The toilet tank. In the toilet tank, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Huh. I knew that one. I didn't realize we we're on that one. I yet. only know that because it's been like redone in a bunch of stuff. Yeah. I can't like get this to copy. Come on, real. Uh, Brando would not accept the Oscar because why? It was the Native Americans or something. Native, Native yeah. rights, Native okay. Native land rights. I thought that's why I was thinking Lake Tahoe, but oh okay, or Lake, Lake Huron. I'm sorry, Lake Huron, but Tahoe it could work there too. She should have asked who did he send out to refuse the Oscar. Yeah, it was um, Sashin Littlefeather. Oh, do we do we know her nation. 
Do we know what I nation? I don't know. From? I don't know. I cannot get the find the. Hold on a second. I thought it was it was most likely the Sioux Nation because I think it was directly. Okay, I gotta go let Susan in. But nine is an orange, and ten is he went to Sicily. Orange. Okay. So. I will be right well, back. Thank I you for being on our team, it. Susan. <laughs> well, I knew those. I knew nine was an orange. I didn't know Susan. Well, unless it's more specific at some place that's like in Sicily. No, I think Sicily is. I'm sitting here having this big old conversation with you. And I, I, said, I said, do you know your Godfather movies? That's what they're doing right now. Are you, are you talking to me? Yeah. Oh, Godfather. yay. It worked. Yeah, yeah, you're here. I was like, she's here. No, the Godfather Hi. movies. Uh, okay, cool. Do you know them? Uh, sort of. Okay, well, you're going to go help out. Um, okay. I'm going to put you assigned to this is going to go to, you're going to go to this one. Two. There you go. Have fun. Cool. Um, but I don't really have time to have back. Any I'm back. Sorry about like the, Can we get the everything? Movie buff in the world. We're just checking. When I when I know about a movie, I know I really know about it. That's what I, it, like. Yeah, if we did like a Shaun of the Dead category, I'd be Ooh, like, I like Shaun of the Dead. <laughs> you can write that. But I don't yeah, know never, anything about actors. I never know actors, directors, anything like that. But plots and things that happen, I, I if I watch a movie, I can usually do it. But I can't stand the acting stuff. I, I like mm. storyline. Okay, so who's reading them off? Jim's uh, just gone to check if he with his roommate. Oh, which one are we having trouble with? Well, who played Fredo? Well, Wasn't he a very famous actor? I think they were all famous actors in that movie. You could say something like something else that he was in. I might have a clue, but I, otherwise, I'm. Well, we did, didn't we? Didn't Jim say it was uh, he was in? A Barney Miller? No, that yes. was uh, that's another that was, one. That was question two. Yeah. I thought that's one where we're on. No, we're on question three. Who played Frodo? Oh, Frodo. Oh, number three. Frodo is John Cazal. John who? Cazal. John Cazal. Like C A Z A L E. According to my roommate, he confirmed Connie. Connie? Connie Corleone. Yeah, that sounds familiar. She has a very small part at the very beginning, but it ends up being a big deal later. Oh, we're being kicked out. That's nice. Ooh, I think uh, we're ready. I think we're ready. We're, we're our official answer to number one is three. Okay. Yep. I don't have anything better. Abe Vigoda, John Cazal, Connie Corleone, Lake Tahoe, Diane Keaton, Toilet Tank, Native American Land Rights, Orange. And Sicily. Very good. Oh, we need the actor and the sitcom. So it's Abe Vigoda and Barney Miller. Barney Miller. Oh, man, we're going to kick ass. Finally, I'm on a team that. <laughs> <laughs> I'm we just don't know where the where the lake is. Well, lake Tahoe might be good. I think it may I'm be. sure it was, a, it it was supposed be. to be Lake Como. I mean, right? No, because it doesn't take place in Italy. No, wait. Oh, where does it take place? Here in the Very U.S. Good. Really? Yeah. Part two is much. That shows you how much I know about the Godfather. <laughs> Guys. What was the other? What was the other movie that Mario Puzo wrote that uh, Marlon Brando was in? Superman. There you go. Ooh, one of my favorite Puzo books is mm. called Fools Die. I written, I read, read it so many times. Very good. <laughs> 
Okay, is everybody back? Yeah, Karen. oh, like Karen's having a number, a uh, question number seven, eight, nine. nine. Su Susan, I forgot to leave myself in my own group. I'm sorry. Okay, I'll, I'll throw you back in there when we get a chance. Don't worry about it. This is actually another grapefruit, Susan. Ooh, a fuzzy. There's no with, fuzzy. Are with no careful? evil cat fur balls. No cat fur balls. Oh, is it, did you cut it open yet? Are you sure about that? It hasn't been traded. Mark, Mark eight, I think all uh, the grapefruit. Looks good. No fur balls. They were good. All right, where are we at? Okay, Peggy, Peggy. Let's okay, get some answers. Guys, answers are coming. Number one, how many Oscars did it win? It won three. Aha! Yay! Yay! Wow, we went way high. Those were for screenplay, actor, Brando, and best picture. I believe that the second one won more, and but I'm not positive, so geeks can tell me. So number two, I'm so glad that so many of you remembered Abe Vigoda, who Yay! was in Barney Miller. He was also in Fish. Yay, yeah, how do you spell, how do you spell his Miller. last name? Vigoda? V, Vigoda. V as in Victor, I-G-O-D-A, Abe Vigoda. And the other part of the Susan, answer is Barney Miller? Barney Miller. Or Fish. No, Fish wasn't popular. Fish was after Wait. Barney Miller. And it wasn't in the fish, 70s. Fish, fish did not occur in the 70s. It was oh, only okay. in the 80s. We, fair enough. So, number three. <laughs> I think most people got this one, number three. John Cazal or Cazale, depending on how Italian you want to be. Cazale. How do you spell Cazale? <laughs> he, he, C-A-Z-A-L-E. I don't think he pronounced it that way, but... So he died young. He was only 42. He, he was in five movies during his career. Only wow. five. Every movie he was ever in was nominated for Best Picture. Wow. Oh, he wow. was so good. And people thought so highly of him. Yeah. He dated Meryl Streep. He Streep's, played right? Fredo perfectly. I mean, yeah. yeah. Such yeah. a great Fredo. I, I don't know why I keep thinking Hobbit when I hear that name. <laughs> Brodo Fredo, pretty close. I, I thought his name was Fettuccine Al. <laughs> <laughs> so number four is you could say Connie, you could say Carlo. Connie Carlos, uh, his daughter Connie. Connie. Yeah, it was Connie. It was the sister slash daughter. And um. Okay, nobody's bitching about it. Great. No, we got it right. <laughs> it's amazing. I, re I remembered it, believe it or not. Number five is Lake Tahoe. Ooh. Wow. Good you job, Richard not. Flowers. It's for sale if anybody wants to buy it. It is. The lake? The lake? I mean, the, the house. The house. <laughs> Just for a few mil. Five we or could something. all sell everything we own, and we could all, all go and buy it together. Hard to That's believe something on Lake Tahoe for Lake five Tahoe. million. The actual home or a non fungible token. It must be small. A thousand square right. house in LA is a, a million. So I bet we could collectively come up with that much money. Yeah, we could buy it as a team. I could sell my gargoyle. <laughs> <laughs> Not Thanks, for Susan. five that's million. A, that's that's oh, a big help. True. Number six. <laughs> K was played by Diane Keaton. Number seven, answer on the internet says, behind the toilet tank in the restaurant's bathroom. Mm -hmm. I would take anything related to the toilet tank. Yeah. In, in or out. I knew that one. Bathroom does not win it. Toilet. <laughs> toilet tank. It has to be <laughs> toilet. <laughs> toilet. Yeah, Karen's got me. Um, okay, the, you know, Brando, he said the treatment of American Indians in film industry was the reason why he couldn't go pick it up. So he sent Sashin. And the quote is, the motion picture community has been as responsible as any for degrading the Indian and making a mockery of his character. Yeah, he was probably right. Number nine, the fruit that keeps popping up is oranges. Mm -hmm. Yay. <laughs> Vito is buying oranges when he's shot in the street. Vito is peeling an orange with his grandson when he dies. There's an orange on the table of the Hollywood producer before the big dead horse head in the bed scene. There's a number of, you know, obviously there's 30. 
And number 10, the answer is Sicily. Yay. And that's as specific Yay. as you need to be, but I don't think Italy would work. Yeah. No, you it's can't Sicily. call you can't it's say Sicily. Italy. You have to say Sicily. Yeah. Sicily is not really Italy, they think. Woohoo, we did good. It's like a whole separate island. Yeah. <laughs> it's, it's like it's it used island. to be Greek anyway. Is it only it's like an well, island? So did Italy. It's only it's like, like an island. Well, not as much. It's it's really like an island. It's really it, like an island. It's like it's and like the a, whole boot of Italy is kicking it away. So, you know, what's the population though? <laughs> it's like Quebec. Good job, Peggy. I think we yeah, got a lot. Like okay. Quebec. So, the category, I, I, think, Peggy, I think we put like Native American land rights. Yeah. Um, yeah. Anything related to Native American should be fine. Okay. Thank you, Peggy. What a kind person she is. Thank you. <laughs> I'm trying to make up for my, you know, George Eliot thing. <laughs> <laughs> Good okay, job. committed to not being back souls. How many points you got? Nine. There you go. That's what I'm talking about. Um, Thank you, Karen. Beep, beep, beep. This is a test of the Washington Emergency Broadcast System. Beep. Eight. 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 So help. Susan is holding us hostage to people on YouTube. Please help us. Nine. Nine. <clears throat> Caspian's team got nine. Okay. How did that I don't know how many Oscars it won. Caspian? That was the hardest question. I... That was a crapshoot. It really was. I mean, Girls, I mean, mommy. That was my fault. No, it's okay. I mean, as long as they're not all like that. <laughs> mommy zooming, girls. Girls, mommy zooming. For, for the team that really are not movie buffs and didn't really know anything about The Godfather, we got 10. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know how many Oscars a damn thing won? We guessed. We guessed. We guessed. We guessed. And that was my team. Oh. Oops. <laughs> I got three of those. Thank you very much. Yeah, um, Susan but, was a great but help. But other people team. knew them too. I knew the oranges in the toilet. Don't tell yourself short. I knew zero of them. Oh. Okay, so it missed us point that much who was in the lead. Ten. And they're still in the lead. Ooh. Here we go. <laughs> <laughs> very good okay well done, that, that bumped up a few people but uh, 16 16 18 20 i thought we did pretty 20. good we got eight and we got the lowest score of the category the maximum points you could get right now is at 30 so very good good job peggy mm -hmm. we're in the lead that was really good i like Yay, i like peggy. having something oh. like that okay so no pressure or anything paulina where's paulina on the screen Oh, there she is. She's in my office, so I get confused. I'm, I'm here. There I'm she right is. Here. I, I could pretend I'm at your house. Yeah. So she's in your she... office. She should be really easy to find. Just yeah, look behind the gargoyle. Sitting in but my chair. It's, but it's it, there's some sort of time warp because it's daytime behind Paulita. <laughs> yeah. She might be ahead of time. <laughs> Paulina is in my house zillions of times. So because this has happened before, are you saying that we're doing the time warp again? Oh, oh. <laughs> let's do the time warp. Let's, let's not. Let's ask Mark Edward. Mark? <laughs> Mark? Oh my God. Okay. <laughs> where are you? I'm right here. Oh, I have talking moved. about Leonard. Where is he? I, I'm not Leonard. Um, Richard, where I'm are here, you? I'm here talking oh, to there Mark. You are. Oh, there's Mark. Hi, Mark. <laughs> Just covering me up. I blend into the background. Okay, Paulina, Mejia. Yes. yes, it's your turn. My turn. Okay, so I'm not sure how well you guys will guess these. I think they're pretty easy. <laughs> I think they're easy. Some of you ladies <laughs> might enjoy <laughs> this category. Um, I don't know if some of these questions have been asked before. But here it goes. So the category that I did is random facts of leading ladies. Ooh. So it's movies, authors, and connections between the two. Oh, cool. Yeah, so I don't know how we'll do. OK, first question. Okay, hey, hang on a second, us? Paulina. I'm going to yeah. mute everybody. Uh, mute don't forget to unmute yourself as well. So three, right. two, one, mute. There we go. 
Okay, can you guys hear me? Okay, so I will post the question. Oops. In the movie Forrest Gump, what was the cost of Jenny's death? Bonus, if you know the date. Um, okay, that's one. When, when you say bonus, is that just bragging rights or triple points? Bonus as bragging rights. Okay. Is that fair for everybody? Okay. In 1951, Colette, the French novelist, asked this actress to play the Broadway production of Gigi. So for you Broadway people, this is for you. Let's, uh, okay. Number three. Okay. In 1953, Audrey Hepburn was the first actress to win three awards. Name the movie and the awards. Okay. Four. Okay. Four. You and have to answer four things correct on that one. What was that? You have to answer four things correctly on that one to get a point. Yes. Okay. You could get half a point, but preferably the whole. What? What? Are we doing half points now? <laughs> we haven't done that in about eight months. No, it's a full point. You have to get both. So three awards and the movie. I think it's a terrific question, Paulina. <laughs> Just the way you worded it. It's super easy. Okay, number four. In 1958, the film Breakfast at Tiffany's, the role of Holly Galiley was written for what actress? Oops. Number five. This one's a little longer. Author Isabel Allende had a famous uncle who was president and committed suicide at the same time she was in exile. Name the country and president. Okay. Oops. Number six. Frida Kahlo is known to have many affairs, both with men and women. How many? Can you name one? You don't have to name them. I'm just throwing that if you guys could name them, great. If not, I just want the number. Oh, the number or just yes or no? The number. That we know of. That, yeah. No plus or minus is the number. You could, if you know one, you could count that as a point for you. But you have to give me the number. Okay. Question. I don't know if this one has been asked before, but I thought it was interesting. So when I was doing my little research, I found this out. So number seven, the daughters of the Confederacy, com Confederacy campaigned against Vivian Lane to be Scarlet in Gone with the Wind. Soon after, they stopped when they were told the role would go to whom?
that question has never been asked before. Okay. Question eight. In her book, in 2011, in her book, if you ask me, and of course you won't, Betty White wrote she had a close friendship with this, with what Central Coast Native author? She had a close friendship. So Betty White had a close friendship with the Central Coast author. Question nine, Audrey Hepburn felt a strong connection and considered this author her soul sister. In 1958, she was asked to portray the author and declined. Who is the author? If you haven't noticed, I love Audrey Hepburn. So that's a fun fact for me. Okay, and question 10. Name 10 of the most inspiring leading ladies in a movie, in movie history. There's a total of 25. So I just want the top 10. So these are characters in movies. There's a total of 25 and I do know that there's a website because that's how I found this. So I yeah, hope the characters or the actresses characters, not no actresses. It has to be the characters. The way I found it, it gave me the um, character name and then the movie and the year. So I just want the character. And is this we have to get 10 of them to get one point? Or can we get one point for each of them? <laughs> That's a Susan question. She's <laughs> And then tell us we can save ourselves for question 10. Paulina, for nine, um, I'm assuming Central Coast, you mean Central Coast of California. Right? <laughs> what was that? Central, yeah, in California, Central Coast here in the California. So those are my questions. Do you guys okay. have, We've been do you guys have any other questions? Well, I, I, I would like to know, are you going to give tenths of a point for any of those correct, or you have to get all 10 to get one point? What do you guys want to do? Let's go more points. There's no reason why we always have to have a consistent number. Yeah. And no okay, precedent right. for right. fractional points. Every count is the bonus guys. question. Yeah, that's a good idea. I like the bonus question. Susan, what do you think? Do you want to count bonus bonus as a whole separate bonus, bonus category. Yeah, let's go up to 10. Why not? Let's You'll count that one as a bonus? No, not as a bonus, but it'll, it'll be. Okay, so 10 points, points for that one. question. Yeah. Can you give okay. us the source according to who? What the was ten, that? The 10 most inspiring, that's like an opinion question. So can we at least have the source that that came from? Yeah, I'm going to post. Afterward, after, afterward, after now. I'll give you the link. Is that the AFI list? I don't know. I Googled it like every, everybody else Googled everything. It's according to rogerdebert.com. Right. It's, it's the name of the character, not the name of the actress, right? Yes, okay. character, yes. not actress. Oh, have fun. How do you? I am going to Paulina's room, which is room number oh, four. Susan, before you go, I could just jump in between, right? Wait, wait. Yeah, I, you can I, jump I, in. You might want to put I'm some I'm totally kind of confused about that last answer seat. that was given and then everybody went away. Oh, I mean, so normally they say leading lady, it's yeah. an actress. So the he wants the characters. It's just characters. You want the roles, the most yeah. inspiring lady roles. That roles in the in. movie. Okay. That's how the title of the website had it. Interesting. Okay. Literally copied it. Okay. 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 See a little bit. Twenty years. Ago. Is that oh, when the airplane? Is that when the airplane crashed into the house? Hello, peoples. Oh, she had some. I'm on your team. An oh, wait. How can I, Susan, how can I jump in between the... So you have some special powers. 
So you should be oh. able to see a breakout rooms to go from room to room. Got it. Okay. If cool. I want to put a Zoom face on. I'm telling you, you you you'll give it away, and don't explain anything to anybody because you'll give it out. Got it. I think I have to yourself. <laughs> okay. So let me. <laughs> I didn't mean it literally. <laughs> okay. Who's keeping score in this room? We've got it. I always keep score. Okay. Number one. So I think he had AIDS. No, it, they never said AIDS in the movie. Well, but it's obvious it was AIDS. No, they never specified that it was AIDS in the movie because they were afraid of going there. But it was AIDS. I it I've heard an argument that it's hepatitis. Well, if they, they didn't, didn't directly say, say what it was. Should we just say that it was never named? Yes, if it was never named. Yeah, yeah I think it's his brother named. who died cancer and jenny died of an unspecified illness that was only hinted at like term a terminal illness yes probably presumably contracted from her drug use and uh yeah the 70s yes well, presumably well, contracted thanks to the 70s which well, could be a lot like of things day. sounds like they're implying aids well they, yeah it feels like it was aids you didn't see forrest gum i i did i tried to put it out of my memory i didn't like it <laughs> It wasn't bad. Like okay, it. number two. Maybe I had a bad day when I went to the theater. I don't know. We saw it, you know, it's initial release. Really controversial film. Colette, the French novelist, asked this actress to play in the Broadway production game. GG. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. No. Is this too early for uh, Brigitte Bardot? Who is she most famous for? No, I don't think for so. For dating one of the Beatles. Never heard of her. You never heard of Risha Bardot? Risha Bardot? No. Yeah, I've heard of her. I've only heard of her in relation to whichever one of the Beatles had a thing for. Her. I didn't know about that. She's a little old for the Beatles. I never heard that. Yeah. My brother really liked her too, though. <laughs> I don't know if the time period's right, though, because this might be a hair early. No, yeah, all right. We don't have anybody else. Let's put it down and move on. Go back if we need to. Three. Well, it's not breakfast with Tiffany's. I think it's oh, 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 I know it. It starts with an O. It's about that long. It's like about seven letters long. It's Onis. Oni. I don't know how to pronounce it. I oh. don't. Was that a musical? Because I don't think this can be three Oscars. She got name the movie. Okay. And the three awards. It was the first actress to win three awards. Cass was thinking it was three Oscars, but I don't think it can be three Oscars for the same movie because I don't think she wrote or directed or did any of the technical no. stuff. No, my thir first thought was Oscars and then you made a face and then I realized that it <laughs> probably wasn't. No, Maybe it's not that you don't have me? a right, you don't have a point, but I don't think she act, She don't, I don't think she wrote or directed or did any right. of that. Well, so no. how could she win multiple Oscars oh, for the same no. movie? No, I know she didn't win multiple I know, Oscars. I, I know. But if it's three awards for the same movie, then this has to be a singing movie because one of them has to be a Grammy or a Tony. Or a oh, wait, wait, wait. why couldn't it be the Oscars and what are the other Golden, uh, Globe? Golden Globes? Um... Uh, it could be a Golden Globe, but then what? I'm thinking an Oscar, a Golden Globe and a Grammy. I don't know about a Grammy. I, I think it's a musical. And it doesn't matter because she wants movies, too. And the movie's name which is means you have to know the movie, which means oh. I think it's My Fair Lady. No, it's Onius. Owen. Oklahoma. No, no. It's, it's short word. Onius. It it's not a normal word. It's a word. But that... to be fair, I only know two Audrey Hepburn movies. So I want to see the face Jamie you made. I don't know because I wasn't. It's paying impossible attention. to describe it. It was just epiphany. It... She had an epiphany. epiphany no, face? she had a face that somehow gave me an epiphany as a result of it. Oh, okay. Oh, that's interesting. <laughs> that's synergy. Okay, number four. Uh, no, we don't have an answer for three. Well, we're moving on. Oh, okay. I think I thought we did. No. Right, but you still have to name the awards too, and the title of the movie. An Oscar. Only is. Golden Globe and a Grammy. Oh, isn't yeah, a Golden I Globe for TV? Yes. No, they no. have. They no. do films. Oh, uh, why a Grammy? Because it probably wouldn't be a Tony for a movie. No, Tony yeah, has to be an so. Okay, but then is that movie you're talking about a musical? I think it might have been. Okay. So then we, but we still have to name the movie too. Onius. Onius? How are you spelling this? O. 
N I O U S or something like that. Jesus, I've never heard of that. But that's not impossible with someone. Oh, yeah, Pauline has got her mask on. Good girl. Onius, something like that. Okay, number four. Uh, it was written for what actress? I remember this, and and she wouldn't do it or couldn't do it or got sick or had another conflict. It was a big star. Grace Kelly. Could have been Grace Kelly. In fact, that sounds right. Maybe Sorry, she got married. Princess Grace. Mm -hmm. Before her, before her marriage, Isabel Allende had a famous uncle who was president. Salvador Allende of Chile. Yep. Wow. I think it's pronounced Allende. Probably. And number six, this is confusing. Frida Kahlo is known to have affairs with both men and women. How many? So at least two. <laughs> I think, this, I think this came up in some other trivia game. This game. I've never heard this before. <laughs> Paulina was just up at the art museum and watched, just looking at this lady's pictures. So <laughs> probably where she got the idea for the question. Can you name one? That's just, what an odd question. How many? I don't know. Two? It's not odd. It's, they were, her and Diego Rivera were known to have a very open relationship. Right, but how, how would we know how many? Yes, I believe you're correct. I don't how? know, 15, 30, who knows, right? That seems a bit much. Oh, I don't That's know. That's why I'm saying two, but I know it couldn't be two. I'd say four. I'd say more. I have no idea. I mean, and I couldn't name one if I tried. Oh, I couldn't name one, but she said she wanted the number. That's just a bonus. Yeah, there was a lot of people, I think, which was really odd because the woman was in serious health issues. The only thing I like about this category is she did not say, oh, you all know these. <laughs> <laughs> These are all easy. I thought she did say that, that they were easy. No, she didn't. She's very nervous. I think that's why. I don't want to go to room five. I'll have to wait. Uh, because I don't. Uh, why are you talking about? I got a notice that said they wanted me to go to room five because I had a question. Well, you got to stay I can't here. go because they, what they want is Paulina. Right. You can chat to them personally, though, if you know someone in the group. No, I can't. It wants me to chat with only you guys here in this group. You don't have a drop down menu where it says to everyone? Yeah, but the everyone is you three. Yeah, that's what it means. Just Deborah, Jamie, Cass, when, when you're in a, when, when you're, have, when you're in a breakout to room. To everyone, and then right next to the E and everyone, there's a little arrow? Yeah, mm. I'm looking right at it. It says everyone. What? Yeah. Yeah, everyone in me. Oh, that's messed up. Guys. You can't communicate with the other breakout yeah, rooms. Yeah, they lie. It should say everyone in breakout room. It should. That's messed up. Yep. So who might the Daughters of the Confederacy have been uh, happy about playing somebody in Gone with the Wind? Wait, first of all, wasn't Vivian Lee in Gone with the Wind? Yes. Yes. Okay. The what did we put for six? Did we pick a number? No. Vivian Lee wasn't Scarlet, was she? Yeah. Was she or was she not? Vivian Lee, Scarlett O'Hara, right? She was a Scarlett O'Hara. Okay, so they campaigned against her. Until they threatened her, them with someone else. Soon after, they stopped when they were told the role would go to, oh, some black woman, probably. They probably said, if you don't shut what? up, we're going to give it to some No, I no know. that would have pissed they, them off even they more. No, that. no. They wouldn't well, that would have made them <laughs> stop and give the role to Vivian Lee. <laughs> they no. wouldn't have done that. I'm thinking it's someone very, very East Coast or someone English. Uh, oh, English. Because I mean, can you uh, imagine if a Yankee? <laughs> yeah, you're right. That would have shut him up. Okay, there weren't so. any Southerners they could have put in there? No, uh, they, no. The way she's wording it is the daughters of the Confederacy uh, were bitching about Vivian Lee until they threatened them with someone else and then they shut up. Yeah. And that's if you, hey, if you don't like Vivian Lee, we'll put this even worse person in there. Mm -hmm. oh, okay, oh, I, no. I read it as, oh no, well, we'll do this other person then. When I, I, I know this is a stupid question, but when was Gone with the Wind? 1939. How about Judy Garland? <laughs> no, she wouldn't have She never. was like a kid. Actually, that's, that's not the worst not idea. The worst she? idea, honestly. She was like, I bet you it's a Brit. How old was she? 
Well, she was 16 in, in um, National Velvet. No, 16 in uh, oh, uh, Wizard Judy of Garland, Oz. 16 uh, in, sorry, uh, wrong person. Wizard of Oz. <laughs> yeah, I mean, Wizard of Oz, yeah. Who were the actresses at the time? I'm not real. Well, well could it? I, I think it could have been a British person. I think that's a really good guess. But again, yes, but even that, who was the actresses at the time? Betty Mil Bette Miller? Met no. Uh, Bette Miller's not Betty that Davis? old. Betty Davis? Betty Davis. Wouldn't she have been too old, though? Mm -hmm. I don't know how old she is. Catherine oh. Hepburn. Catherine Hepburn. Yes. Ooh. Catherine Hepburn would have been that the right era. Why would they have been pissed about that? I have no idea. But she doesn't sound like a Vivian. Uh, Vivian she's not a Southerner, era. I'm pretty sure. Um, how about um, Elizabeth Taylor? No, she, I think she might have been a little young. She would have been that. too young. She would have been too young. How young is too young? This is Hollywood. Oh, she's been in her 20s at least. It's old enough to play a grown woman. Yeah, that yeah. would work. No, I, I, think, I think Elizabeth Taylor would have been like a baby. Oh. I know. I know. I'm thinking Shirley Temple. Shirley Temple. Yeah. <laughs> Can you imagine? <laughs> Which is would shut those Confederate daughters of Confederacy up. Little curls and sort of little tap dancing. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's Shirley Temple. So Actually, you know, you might be right. They they might have just said, "Yeah, we'll we'll cast her that and see how." Yeah. As a yeah. As a, way as a power saying, play, but just as a, a point of ridicule. I like that, actually. All right, let's go with it. <laughs> All right. <laughs> it would have shut him up pretty quick, wouldn't it? How old would his Shirley Temple have been? Like, like six? <laughs> no, she would have been a little older than that, I think. Oh, God. Not much. She would have been young. <laughs> <laughs> so in number eight, Watch, we'll be right. What does Central Coast mean? Oh, that's Central that's, Coast, that's, California. Central Coast of California. That's going to be Steinbeck. Or I'm sure maybe, it's Steinbeck. Or maybe Henry Miller. Who was the guy that, remember I had a question way back, like the first category we ever did. It was the guy who lived up in um, Jack London. Oh, yeah, Jack London. But well, this call is the native, wild. so call it's got to be Steinbeck. Because Jack well, London wasn't a native. Question. Does she mean native as in fr born in the Central Coast, or does she mean native as in Native American? No, she means uh, we have that's what you say. Central Coast native is what you would say. Also, and also, are you sure that it's John Steinbeck and not Beatrix Potter? Beatrix Potter wasn't from the Central Coast. She oh, lived in Carmel. Oh, oh, oh! But if Beatrix born here? Potter, is, I didn't no, know that. If Beatrix Potter is native, and she lives in Carmel, which I think Betty White d had lived for a while. It would be Beatrix Potter because what's Betty White known for? Being an extreme animal advocate. I I never heard that Beatrix Potter I, was native of uh, Carmel. Beatrix, Beatrix right. Potter was local. Okay. Oh, okay. I did not know that. Deborah, no. did you know that? I did not. I knew about um, the lady. I always that, thought she's British. There, no, there's this lady that wrote a uh, children. That's the thing book. too. I thought Beatrix Potter was British. Maybe Paulina doesn't know that. I think Are it's Steinbeck. Sure? Uh, I I think it's probably more likely Beatrix Potter than John Steinbeck, but we might be overthinking it. What do you think, Susan? Are we overthinking it? Yes, I know you're overthinking it. So I think it's Steinbeck. I mean, it but changes I, on whether or not she I'm is. just a visitor in this group. Audrey Hepburn felt a strong connection, considered this author as her soul sister. I have no idea. So this is an author who would have been made as the character of a film as well in the 50s. Um, and a woman because they're, yeah. Quick question, what number are you guys on? Nine. Nine. But we still have to go back. We skipped a whole bunch. bunch. Yeah, we skipped one or two. How's everybody else doing? You're on mute, Paulina. You're on mute. She knows. I don't think she does. She was talking. I said they're between eight and ten, give or take. Okay, so we're probably actually on seven. Yeah. And for, and for ten, we're going to need at least a half hour. Nah. <laughs> no. Okay, let's do nine here real quick. Time with that one. So, who would have been an author who would have been alive at the time, female? and likely to be portrayed on film. 1958. So she was famous before 1958. Yes, famous enough that she would have been considered a, an object to be filmed. Consider this author. Wow. 
I'm I'm really, jumping, I'm really, really, really enjoying jumping into the. Yeah, I, I told you. Thanks. It's, I, fun. it's very entertaining. And, and yeah. Some get it, some don't, some are having like the funniest conversations. Thank yeah. you. Uh, a strong connection with an author. Miller. Should I give like a. No, you uh, can't give any hints. Yeah, you'd have to give them to everybody. I guess I'm confused about this one though. Does, does this mean in 1915 she was asked to betray herself? No, she was asked to betray an author. Who was she considered her sole sister? And considered this he author. She would sister. enjoy it. What about Virginia Woolf? Hmm. That's about the right time. I, the time could be anywhere. It doesn't say they knew she each other. It said she considered her her sole sister. That's a fair point. That doesn't mean a thing. Oh, it could have been somebody yeah. like. I'll do this. This is fair. What? I'll tell everyone. What are you doing? Tell everybody, Paulina. What number is it? Nine. 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 I, I, I don't know. Ever recording, so you better be careful. I still don't understand this. The word author is used twice. Is that not the same person? No, it's it's so, clear. She felt a strong connection and considered no. this author as her soul sister. And then she asked. Fine. Think Dutch. Dutch for number nine. You probably She's go in the room and check to make sure that they got that as well. Yeah, you got to go each room, make sure I, you got the message. So I did a broadcast message to all. Yeah, I know, the, but you need to. The question is, some people don't notice it. That's okay. the problem. Okay, I'll go to down the list. Okay. Yeah. A okay. Dutch person. So, yeah. so should it say was asked to betray this author, a different is author? It, yes. No. That is what it says. No, it says the. And, and, and you shouldn't use the unless you've used the thing before. So that's why I thought it was the same person. It is the same person. It's the, I don't understand. What? Yeah, the author is the same person the throughout the question. Yes. That, I, you guys just told me no to that. No, can, it, 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 it is, the author is the same person throughout. All right, so I'm going to re-say this. Felt a strong connection and considered this author, person B, as her soul sister. In 1958, she asked, she was asked to portray person B and the client. Yes. Yeah, that's oh, that, grammatically sound. Okay, was that's, the what I said, was the that's what I said before, and I thought you guys said no. Okay. No, I we misunderstood you. Okay, I want to go for the big points here while you guys are doing that. I was already starting on the big points. Okay, I good. Name the 10 most inspiring leading ladies in movie history. Mm. Do they have to be live movies, or can they be cartoons? I believe it is all feature-length films. Well, I mean, Little Mermaid was a feature-length uh. film. <sighs> Well, it's okay. Be animated mm. films. The one that we had, the Go Lightly, that was one. Really think they'll put Holly Go Lightly up there? Mm -hmm. That was amazing, a, a famous. Uh, movie. Yes, but I is she no leading? Mm -hmm. Breakfast. Is about. Never seen it. Neither is I. How about Pollyanna? It's really good. No. A leading lady. Now remember, so not all about Eve. So, so that would have been. Um, Betty Davis played Margot, Margot Channing. Erin Brockovich. Inspiring All About Eve? Well, Margot, yeah. I think, I, I've never seen it, but I think they want good people. Oh, it was great. No, no, I mean good characters. Good aligned characters. How about, well then how about, uh, um, I think I'm not familiar with all about Eve, but I don't. Anne Frank. What? Anne Frank. No, no, I'm not a character. Well, uh, re historical personages were often named as characters on the AFI list. So how I'm about, how the, AFI about the, the the good fairy in in Oz? Oh, how about uh, Dorothy from the Wizard? Dorothy Rock? would be on, um, I think. Yes. Princess Leia. Uh, I actually started this while you guys were deliberating. I started with Princess Leia, Ripley from Alien, yes. Scarlet O'Hara. Yeah, I've seen Scarlet O'Hara. Uh, we're adding Holly Go Lightly and Dorothy Gale from Wizard of Oz. So I have five. Aaron uh, Brockovich. Good, Aaron Brockovich would be good. I think so. How about the woman from Pretty Woman? No. It's not iconic enough. I don't think. I don't think so. Um, 
And I, I heard what you were saying, Susan, about All About Eve, but I don't know anything about that movie. I don't know if any of them were inspiring in the good way. Yeah, that's true. I, I, I know very I little about it. I thought that, the, and of course, I don't remember what her name was in there, but that the um, Elizabeth Taylor in National Velvet was very inspiring. Oh, that's a good one. Yeah, but I need to What was her from... character's name? Yeah, that's a good question. I don't know. I've never seen National Velvet. Oh, it's so good. How about Ray from the last three Star Wars movies? I don't think so. This is far too, that is far too recent for this list. I don't think she'd make the, the list of this. This is some pretty high company. But there, but don't forget about some of these Star Wars. Oh, Princess yes. Leia, we already got well, her. She has Leia. I know, but it, depending on who's making this list, and especially if it's something like the American Film Institute, they won't. That's weird to see Paulina looking to my window. And talking um, to somebody what about my um what you call it's in you know where they drive the cadillac off the cliff at the end oh uh, thelma and louise thelma and louise mm. and also uh steel magnolias oh how about the woman who driving miss daisy and driving miss daisy well yeah, I but i need character names miss daisy miss daisy the guy was, daisy, kind, of, the guy was kind of more inspiring than she was yeah <laughs> I, I thought the point of driving miss daisy was the guy not miss daisy yeah i haven't yeah. seen it I haven't either. Um, See, what's disappointing is that we're having a problem with this. And we really shouldn't, but this just tells you how film is with women. Um, oh, um, oh, I know. Um, two minutes, she's given us. What was uh, that one last, was it two years ago? The, um, the too recent. Well, no, you don't know this because we don't know what list Pauline is using. How about anything sports yeah, related or astronauts related? Oh, 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 um, um, the, 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 the hidden, hidden figures. Yeah. Hidden figures? Yeah, yeah. Oh. Well, also, we need to know their names. I can't remember. Uh, Franklin. No, I think if Cass is right, which I put a caveat on. Wendy Torrance the from The Shining. No. <laughs> She's not inspiring. Yeah, she oh, fought back against crazy Jack Nicholas. Yeah. Kidding? Nicholson. <laughs> and she won. She survived. Come on, we got two minutes. Let me think. Yeah, I'm you'll have the rest of the list too. How much let's pick a number for six. I want to say twelve. <laughs> God, this is so hard for these leading ladies. I potentially have eight right now. What's the name of the leading, the lead uh, char female character in Casablanca? Don't look at me. I've never seen it. I've never seen it. I don't think I've seen little bits of it. I don't, didn't see all of it. Well, we have Paris. Sarah Connor. Ooh, oh, ooh, that's good. Good one, that's Cassie. Good. You pulled that out of the sky. All right. Like um, that. How about Bambi's mother? <laughs> Actually, no. Didn't, didn't I would she just bet die? She might be on the list. No. Didn't she just die. Didn't she just die? She died. Yeah. Her scene. You know. How about put put Ariel? <laughs> yeah. Susan, I can't think of something else. No cartoons. No, no cartoons. cartoons. No. Never mind. Right. What? Good, because she's not a good inspiration anyway. Does everybody know no cartoons? Who cares? <laughs> all right wait do we have we don't have anything for eight or six or oh, yeah. I, I, I wrote down 12 for six eight i vote beatrix potter all right i think um, 12 is a bit much even for affairs let's make it six okay we make it six all right <laughs> just to pick a number and i think we're gonna have to vote on a question six did we get nine no, we said six did we get number nine Oh. No, no one knew that one. The author who's the author who's the author. Somebody who's Dutch. I don't know any Dutch actors. I can't think of any Dutch authors. We're not gonna get that. How many how many do we have for 10? Uh I have eight. Okay, that's pretty good. If Dutch actors. And that's the, I have eight, and that's including Anne Frank and Sarah Connor and Wendy Torrance. Oh! Ah, 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 ah. What? Anne Frank! Dutch! No, I already have her. No! As the author. Nine. No, there's no way she's Betty White Dutch. knew. She was an author. 
She's oh, not Dutch. Right. And she was, she was in the Netherlands. That's Dutch. So no, number nine is Anne Frank. Number, n- what? What? number nine. What? Anne yeah. Frank wasn't Dutch, was she? Anne Frank was German, and she moved to the Netherlands in order to escape Nazi persecution, okay. and then the Nazis. That's and it also explains why she might not want to do her. Yes, she but says I still it's her soul sister. I'm telling women. you. Yes, I'm fine with that. We'll just have I to will. Go. I will bet my firstborn son. All oh, right. <laughs> Movie. I little by little I'm um, doing not just on the movies that I've seen of her. So I I have like five left that I need to see. Oh yeah, yeah. I'm really left. curious about these I answers. Really like it's, it's very cool. That was a lot of work, but I, I I I'm very curious what we came up with. Did you guys enjoy it? Yes, I did. Take your mask was, off, Paulina. I don't mask yourself. You're not a mask hole. <laughs> 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 Our neighbors are mask holes and they're not very nice. Those give me dirty looks. Well, give me Isabella, back. how is Wait, this? So, how do you work? define Isabella? mask hole? Uh, I, I liked it. The last question was a little long, though. Well, it long. was really mm-hmm. challenging. I'm surprised mm-hmm. no one in my group knew who Frida Kahlo was, but. Really? <laughs> Oh yeah. wow. wow! Who's in your group that, that doesn't know who Frida Kahlo is? Me. I've heard of her. I'm not. Heard of her. I know who Frida Kahlo was. They would know who she and is. I've heard of her. My mom was like, "What? It's okay though." <laughs> we have so, been educated. <laughs> I'm it's all right. I, I've got links all up no here. Names. Frida Kahlo. There she is. Frida Kahlo so of the Tuesday? of the amazing eyebrows. Yeah. I've yeah. got I've got Over tabs out. open all along here to look at later whenever I get a chance. You guys keep putting things in chat, so I keep going. On Tuesday, I actually went to the San Francisco Museum of Arts, and we want we saw her exhibit. You went We're supposed to. You went inside. He went. I went inside. They what? had it open, so oh, it was. God. They were supposed to have it last year between May and October, and then it got extended to this May. So. It's still not there. Enough, not enough money for me to go inside a place like that now. <laughs> I just posted it's, a good uh, yeah. article if anyone wants to read it I about it. it. That, that's just joined my we, I think we went to go see it in San Francisco a few years ago. My mom took me. It was really good. good. What's I, happening I'm, I'm at sure Chavot, Lena? Excuse me? What's happening at the Chavot? Is it that open? No. Mm. They're not planning on opening until at least October. Oh, uh, okay. Okay. So are you guys ready for the answers? Yes. yes. Definitely. Yes, I am. Okay. Yes, we is. Did we get a point for saying yes. Yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yeah. So I will post the answers for you guys. For number one, the question was, what did Jenny die of? It is an unknown disease with no cure. That was the correct answer. It's not AIDS or HIV. And it was a job, guys. It was, it, it they like did it an was... interview. So they he did an interview, I think, in ninth, after the movie when they were supposed to do Horse Gump 2. I can't remember the name of it, but the author said it was hepatitis C because they were going to go more into detail. So yeah, so that's, yeah when, watching the movie, I thought she was dying of old movie disease. Do we get yeah. the point if we got March 22nd, 1982? Just bragging rights that you right, asked right. before. What was, what was the date? Karen got it. It was amazing. Why? How, how would you know it? What was, what was famous what was about the date? I, I knew it was a Tuesday. Because I worked, <laughs> because I worked at the opening uh, restaurant for a chain called Bubba Gump Shrimp Company. Oh, I didn't know you worked for Bubba Gump. Yeah, I was their mark, first marketing person at their very first store at Cannery Row in Monterey, and I was a waitress. Yeah. And we had to memorize trivia to ask the question. Oh, these, uh, I remember first. that. They had these little things you could flip yeah. over. And- it's the first Monterey, the restaurant that um, Karen worked in, that's the first uh, restaurant. Oh, was that the for, first Bubba Gump? On that's the oh, first. Two that. years after the movie was released, they opened it there. I've there was there. one at Pier 39, too. I, think, so. I, I remember I have some pictures of, I think, Sterling sitting with the, the fake Bubba Gump, and they had some actor they hired. There's one so, 
Is this still ambitious? He hated it and he cussed like a sailor. He was like Mr. Sweet Guy taking pictures. He would come inside and he had a vile mouth and he hated his job and he was an actor, a failed actor. And we had to shore him up every day to keep doing this job. All right. Okay. So for question two. I thought he was a nice guy. So question two. It was um, Audrey Hepburn. If you guys guessed, it was Audrey Hepburn. Is the answer to everything Audrey Hepburn? Pretty much. <laughs> yeah, we, we put that Audrey Hepburn murdered Jenny. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> that happened too. <laughs> Audrey okay. Hepburn is the answer to life, the universe, and everything. To everything. Well, that's 42 Audrey Hepburns. <laughs> <laughs> so for number three, um, Audrey Hepburn won and they won an Oscar, a Golden Globe, and the British Academy of Film and Television Award. Oh, oh so we got those. Awesome. Um, yeah, so that was for Roman Holiday. It was her first. Oh, uh, Roman Holiday. Her first main role, yeah. So and, the, and getting all four of those, is that one point or four points? One point. One point. One point. In the future, I would think that most questions for one point should have one answer. Yeah. I'm just saying. Yeah, I think. <laughs> I would agree with that. We got three fourths of a point. No it? multiple choices then. No multiple choices. No, that's fine. different. No True, false, multiple choices. Mul multiple fine. choice still only has one answer. They can only have one movie? correct answer. What was the name of the movie that Audrey Hepburn did? The very first one that starts with an O. It's Onius. On, on, Oh, oh, I don't remember. Oh, yes. Okay. I thought that's so, where she got her starring role and got her award. She was, she was a cigarette caddy girl. Um, was some the, movie. Anyway, I'll check it out later. Okay. So, okay. Breakfast Holiday. at Tiffany's, the role of Holly Galiley, was actually written for Mel Marilyn Monroe. Yes. Oh, and I the knew director, I heard that summer. The director did yeah, not speaking. like her and he gave the role to audrey hepburn that's well, very to good. be we fair Marilyn Monroe wasn't much of an actress <laughs> she actually was pretty good from what i understand did we did a category on Marilyn Monroe? remember uh, i've watched i watched some of her movies i i i i keep with my original state. person she was oh, really hard she was hard to work with she was unreliable you know and i think she was just very difficult Breakfast at Tiffany's, a love story between two prostitutes. Yes. <laughs> Literally, that's what it is. Um, so for you number five, like Isabella Allende. For number five, Isabella yes, Allende. Is. Chile? Chile, and it was Salvador Allende. And he was, I put a little fun fact. He's the first uh, Marxist elect president in Latin America. How do you spell Salvador what? What's his last name? Allende. 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 It's really? name is Isabel's last name. Tell me it. A L. It's in the chat. A L L E N D E. Oh, I missed that. Okay. So. Oh, there it is. Okay. I didn't notice she was putting them in here. Okay. For number six, she had nine confirmed affairs. Ooh. Well, we know about know one more, so we listed that one. <laughs> and then I listed all of the people she had an affair with. I don't you know, you know why we guessed it. 13, Paulina? Why? My, my team guessed 13 because it's the number of letters in Audrey Hepburn's name. You guys on our team who had sex with her, so they, they count. <laughs> Come so on. you have to answer correctly, nine is the yes. answer. It's good for her. Okay, so number seven, it was Catherine Hepburn. <gasps> Dang, we said Shirley Temple. Shirley Dang. Temple? <laughs> no. We said That's Audrey Hepburn. Did we get half a point? No. <laughs> no. We said I thought Shirley the answer Temple to all the questions we was like Audrey Hepburn. If it was Shirley win? Temple, it would have shut them up and they would have been, all right, fine. We'll let, we'll let they them literally... Them the, they literally said, better a British woman than a Yankee. 
So that's why they chose. He didn't leave as British. I didn't realize that. Good job, team. That was what our team said, basically. Oh. Our too. sister's Joan Fontaine, Susan. I thought we'd do better. <laughs> so for number I'll eight. Do. You. Number eight is John Steinbeck. Told you, Woo Caspian. Yeah, well, I guessed Catherine Hepburn first, so. <laughs> no, I'm talking about question eight. What's the answer for that? Steinbeck. In the chat, John Steinbeck. Oh, I got outvoted. So obvious now. Who That's else is it? Author. I was well, reading read Kevin. If I was reading, the, I was, I was like. I would have gotten that. I wasn't even looking at the question. Oh. <laughs> I could have been able to tell you exactly what it was. They what did this say? My team insisted on Beatrice Potter. Oh, okay. Hey, Susan, you live in Salinas. Do you know there's a, St a John Steinbeck house there? Yeah, it's yeah. like she lives like you've been there. I know. Every time we drive by, she points it out to me. Look, look, Richard, we're driving by John Steinbeck's house. Again. Steinbeck house. Hey, Richard, look, we're driving by it again. <laughs> So number nine is Anne Frank. Oh, all right. Told you. So if you listen to or read the Dutch Girl or Dutch mm -hmm. Girl, it's based on Audrey Hepburn's family as a child. She comes from Dutch nobility. And in one of the chapters, she actually talks about being the same age as Anne Frank and reading the book, um, the, re the reason in 1946, she came across the book because the publisher was um, actually worked, she lived underneath the publishing house, on top of the publishing house. And the screenwriter that was reviewing the book, the, reading the articles, um, gave her the book to read. And in 1958, her auto, Anne Frank's dad, begged Audrey Hepburn to play the role, and she said no. Huh. Well, and that's explained in the Dutch Girl. Right. And they're, yeah. So I was actually listening to it, and I kind of knew about it. But this it's, it's a really interesting book. So that's. We got it at the very last that. minute as we were almost as we were exiting it, Donna and me, Anne Frank. I'm shocked. Yeah. And okay, then so they're six weeks, less than six weeks apart. So okay. this, this, that role, she, she felt she couldn't play it. Okay. And so for your last question, just put the link up. I am. Okay. I'm getting the link. No, I, took, I took some down to the list. Yeah, the list. Of the I list. guess you should read out the 25 and see how many we have on it. So and how I many points total were, were there in this 10. round then? Ten, well, 10. That'd be 19. 19. 19. So, so I posted um, the answer to number 10. The first, there, the first, the top 10 ladies are Scarlett O'Hara, Holly Golightly, Maria mm -hmm. Von Trump, Princess Trump. Leia, yeah. Cecil Harrison Johnson, and that's from the color purple, if you guys don't know. Oh, yeah. Um Seely. Seely. Seely, yeah. yeah. Um Francis Baby Houseman for Dirty Dancing. You're kidding. What? Vivian oh, Ward for Pretty crazy. Woman. Oh, I just took you those two off our list. Clarice oh, Sterling for Silence of the Lamb. Oh, I was gonna say Clarice. Thelma and Louise. Uh, and Jackie Brown for Jackie Brown. Okay, but didn't we have 25 choice possibility of 25? Or we were just supposed to say the top 10? The top 10. Just so why just wasn't it just the top 10? Yeah. So the link out of the 25. Yeah, the top 10 out of the 25. So it's just the top 10, I said, out of the 25. Yeah. Um, I put the link and I could, let me see if it lets me post the picture. So if you guys don't. I don't think so, but it did give us the link. Are Thelma and Louise one or two points? One point. <laughs> it's one point each. Each. Is there so, 10? So there's, so there's, so for number nine, there's two points. Thelma so for and 10, Louise. No, 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 no. No, no, no. 
They're one so point. And Louise on, is on one the point. List. They're one point on the list. Yeah. And I would like to know their definition of inspiring. <laughs> oh, no, no, no. Yes, you got to look at that link. Bestonline.com inspiring leading. leading. Well, let me share the link. Well, it's not a Wikipedia link. So how, how could it possibly be accurate? <laughs> I suppose there's a I want to see if Jessica Rabbit's on there. So this is the <laughs> link. Uh, Depends on what you were inspired to do, Kevin. It's from <laughs> Good answer. 2019. I Googled it. I was trying to find my last question and literally the 25 most inspiring leading ladies in movie history. So here's okay, your first one. Right. One of whom is a hooker. Oh my God. That's why we took her off the list. Two of them are exactly. hookers. Two of them are hookers. So <laughs> I'm inspired to be a hooker. One of which is but a young girl is being no. being taken <laughs> advantage by a much older guy. Yeah. Little hair is Thank a very role model. There's your Star Wars. Wars. No, yeah. Susan. The will not be a hooker. It's a little late for me now. <laughs> oh, oh wow! Okay. Well, maybe. I this this may be a record for how late the game actually goes. Yeah. <laughs> So okay, we got it. We got it. <laughs> All right. And then number eleven is Milan. Let, let's 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 keep going. Aaron. It's okay. Let's, All let's right, let's do our scores. Okay. Good job. All right. So we've got a close race. So this is the possibility of picking up 19 points, you guys. <laughs> so <laughs> committed to not being vax holes. Uh, nine out of nineteen. Okay, beep, 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 beep. Seven. That's it? That's, huh? Sue, help, that's Susan That Cole includes that bonus one at the end? Wow. Help, Susan is holding us We hostage. took two of them off, right? So. Five. Wow. wow. <laughs> Girls, mommy's zooming. 13. 13. That's counting Ooh. Thelma and Louise as two. No, but one. Thelma and Louise is one. 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 Well, okay, 12. One. Then 12. And we need to amend ours to six. Caspian, that was, uh, okay. Yeah, all right. Yeah, got it. And it missed us by this much. Eight. Wow. Okay. And there it is for you guys. 23, 25, 33, 24, 31. I like that score. All right, Leonard. Didn't I... Mike, Mike Wolf. Right, Leonard. Uh, I, I think we, we got, got nine, though, than, uh, I James. I thought we got more than uh, four or five of the ten. Yeah, we got five of the ten. Holly Go Lightly, Scarlet Little Hair, Princess Leia, Maria Von Trapp, and Clarice. Plus the others. Um, we got Anne Frank, John Steinbeck, Salvador Allende and uh, Roman Holiday with the the Maurice was not on that list. Yes, it, she was. Yeah. Was, okay. It was on, Wait, we didn't, I didn't write her down. I, I mentioned her. Yeah, she was, I, it was on my list. <laughs> Wait, if we're just going by mentions, we we mentioned Thelma and Louise. <laughs> no, 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 no. We, no, we, had, you, we didn't you, write, write down. them down. Thank you, Paulina. So, James Thank was you, our scribe. If we uh, didn't, I have to go have it written my, down. I have it written down. Yeah, that way I that's why I double checked it. So. Okay, Tramel's up. Okay, all right. So oh, nice. this so this one is very simple to describe. Oh, and <laughs> I I know that no one is going to get zero, but uh, it will we'll be show you. A, <laughs> Don't take it as a challenge, Carl. <laughs> um, <laughs> but getting 10 uh, could be difficult. Name 10 objects in our solar system that spacecraft have landed or crashed on Ooh. or touched in some way. But do we need an exact a name or just what the item or the thing was? Just the solar system object. 
Um, not not we... the name of the spacecraft. Uh, since since everything in orbit, low Earth not release. Not counting Earth or comes back not to Earth. Counting, yeah. not, counting, counting, oh, not counting Earth. Okay. Not counting Earth. Damn it! <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I think that would only I think give the you original one. question, Leonard, was the specific thing. Like perhaps there's a whole belt of things. Uh, do you want? <laughs> no, not not the whole belt. Specific no. thing. Specific so thing. What? One thing in that belt with a name. The name of the thing, yes. The, what the thing is, or the name that they, they're the official, like what the, what the what they what the astronomers call it. The name of the thing, not the name of the category. The name of the object. Could, could you could okay. you uh, Leonard Travell, not person. Start. Leonard, could you could you type into the chat exactly could the phrasing of what you said? Um, <laughs> well, it's the the phrasing is, is trivial. Absolutely not really. clear. What an excellent question. I think it's worded. So beautiful. if a satellite goes into Saturn, it never touches down, but it hit the planet because it hit the atmosphere. So I don't has know contact. Send us to our rooms. Has no. contact. It seems pretty straightforward. Yeah, pretty very straightforward. Oh Lord! <laughs> I heard you. <laughs> I am going to room five. Hi, Susan. The moon. Hello, Mars. team. Mars. So, how do I go to different? things. I didn't I give you powers? Breakout rooms. Yeah. Yeah, okay. The moon, Mars. Didn't they land uh something on a on an asteroid we, not yeah. long ago? Yeah, Whoa. I'm trying to remember the name of that asteroid, but we we, we, got, we sent stuff to Mercury to and now. Venus, Jupiter and Saturn Mars. too. We crashed on Jupiter. I remember yeah. that. Venus. Uh, we must have crashed something into Saturn. That's a big planet. Venus. How about the moon's ion and and um, Io? Io, did we go there? Or in... I don't. I don't know of any of us landing on any other moons. Ganymede. Okay, so let's go from sun, the sun anything crashed into the sun. We've got Mercury. Oh, have we been in the sun? I'm sure we sent something to the sun. No. It would, Probes or something. It would burn up. No, but I mean on purpose to see what the temperature was you... or. You, you, do, you go at night, and then it's right. <laughs> well, the old right. joke, the classic. That's what I always do. That's the classic when I visit the sun. About, uh, yeah. about the oh. So we got, uh, other than the planets, we got moon and uh, that asteroid is the only things I can think of. We got Mars, Venus. Yeah. Neptune. Got something to Mercury. I'm sure of it. Mercury. I don't think we've gotten this far as Neptune, have we? Well, it's Mercury, is, Mercury is small, but Mercury and Venus and then Earth, which we're not yeah, all of our all the, the inner planets have had something sent to them. I don't know. Right. And the moon. All the other planets have had Jupiter yeah, and Saturn. Whole, yeah. And there's, there's a whole series planet. of missions to Mercury, the Mercury missions. Right. <laughs> well, they said that's probes the, or something. I got your right? joke. <laughs> Um, have we had a, have we tried to hit a comet or something? Didn't we try to hit a we, comet? We hit an asteroid recently. Yeah, that's already covered. And we, we tried to go measure a comet dust or something correct, like that. But I don't deal. know which one it was. And it's not in a strict sense a solar object. Comet Kahootek. That's a comet. Yeah. Right. Comet, comet Kahootek? Yeah, I, I don't remember. It's one I can name. Well, wasn't there an asteroid recently that or was it just yeah, a few years ago? Yeah, I remember they landed it was a European it. space yeah. mission. Um Supposedly, there uh, is this a ten point. Yeah. Thing? Yeah. Okay. How many we got, James? All right. So it's it's an object. It's in the solar system. It's not Earth. The 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 uh, International Space Station. 
So that's an object. That would count. It's in the solar system. That would um, that would make sense. You know, solar system I know that Leonard loves to argue, so. Oh, uh, I'm that he, sure we can. I, I'm looking forward to staying here another half an hour arguing that with him. Unless solar system <laughs> objects has a specific technical meaning, or does this oh, mean solar one. system? He's gonna he's gonna be mad. That's great. Spacecrafts have to, I mean, spacecraft have contacted each other. So, the space shuttle is an object that has contacted the ISS. A, contacted. He should have uh, said a man-made uh, object has touched a non-man-made object. That's not what he said. He did not say that. I know, that's what he should have said. So what have we got so far? Uh, moon, Mars, Pluto, asteroid, Venus, Jupiter, Saturn, Neptune, Comet Kahootek, Space Station. How many is that? That's a, that's 10. We sent something to Pluto? I don't think we've had anything on Pluto. No, don't think so. I don't think so. Okay, then Pluto is not really even a planet anymore. But, well, but it would call it would fit in this, it would uh, fit this in the category. Solar system object. Um, yeah. yeah, it counts for this category, but I don't think we've sent anything there. We I don't think we really see the damn thing. Yet. I mean, I'm gonna wrestle them on international. Space that we've gotten are the two we can take them. <laughs> no, we yeah. got my boat. We have International Space Station on our list, though. We're keeping that, right? Right. Yeah. So we need one more of something else. And we've and never been to Mercury, correct? The space shuttle. We have, I think we. I think we've sent probes to Mercury, or at least have we had a, we have. Mercury. Are you sure we haven't been to any other moon? No. There's I mean, got, there's no like moons in Sa there's tons of moons in Saturn and Jupiter. We must have I, sent something. I thought we sent a probe or something somewhere. No, I think you're right. I mean, Ceres. obviously we didn't land on it, but I thought we've sent some kind of probe Ceres. to one of, like, Ceres I am. is the largest moon of Jupiter. Uh, so, uh, Hi. Saturn's moon, that one moon versus Mercury? Say it again. Are, are we going to list that Saturn moon versus Mercury? Not no, versus. What do you mean versus? We, we take it, we're taking out Pluto. We already did. So I got one, two, three, four, five. That six, should be nine. Seven, nine, ten, eleven. I have eleven now. Okay. Can you name them again, please? Yes. The moon, Mars, that asteroid, <laughs> Venus, Jupiter, Saturn, Neptune, Mercury, Comet Kahootek, Space Station, and what is that Saturn moon? What is Comet Kahootek? I don't know what that is. What is that? A comet that came comet. by when? Uh, I, I think it's not a good answer. I, I just sort of said that because I've heard of it. I know okay, that we went to a comet it. and we measured its what was coming out of the comet, but I don't think the we touched a comet. Yeah. I think we just measured like the tail. Well, yeah, we looked at the tail. If we contacted the tail, we contacted the solar object. But the problem is that most comets don't aren't solar system objects. They come and they go. Or there are some that are. I mean, so let's take let's take the comet off and put one of the moons of Mercury or something out. Or we have Saturn's to name one. On. Yeah, we need a name. Uh, Titan. Um, that's the water planet, isn't it? Which no, one? Titan's a moon. I know, but I thought Saturn. it was a water Titan's planet. Okay, Titan sounds good to me. Are you sure it's not Io? <laughs> I'm lost. Okay. We need one more, and we're trying to decide what that last one to be. The space shuttle. We already have that. We have yeah. that. We have the International Space Station. Oh. Oh, you want to you want to duel with them? I mean, too? Gonna, can you can you read, read the question I because I don't see how the ISS and the space shuttle would Solar count. Solar system objects. That he spacecraft should count contact. according to the wording of his things. He, he did not have them in mind. I'm sure. Yeah. Mike is just ready. Well, for one so we can have the He's fun feeling already. very Brooklyn right now. What? <laughs> You're feeling very Brooklyn. You're ready for a fight. <laughs> Paula, did I'm you hear I'm recording. Me? Paula? What? Did oh you my God. Solar system objects that spacecraft have contacted. Paula, move your eyes. I want to see the eyes move. 
I can't make it move. Um, I'm well, not a cat. The way he's wording it, then the ISS would count because it's now a solar system object and we do send rockets to it. I thought we had it already listed. Right. Yeah. We're going to lose a point. Space lab. But, what? but we could argue it. He said the Earth doesn't count, but the right. ISS is not on the Earth. It's in space. Right. Yeah. Well, and it's low Earth orbit. It's you know. Doesn't but again, I think if, if 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 Leonard believes in anything, it's that you have to be very careful about how you word your questions. Yeah. <laughs> okay, we're leaving it on. But what's the tenth thing we were trying to find? A we have Mercury, Venus, Mars, Saturn, Jupiter, Neptune, the Moon of Earth. I thought we were picking one of the moons of Saturn. Yeah. Titan. Titan? Yeah. That was just a question. Did we send thing. anything to Neptune? Because I know like a lot of those, like this Neptune, is spot on Uranus, Neptune, right? Pluto, I yeah, think it's flybys more than something landing. You know, I wish Leonard was here. He'd be really good at this question. We <laughs> did. We did send something to Neptune, but goddamn Louis DeJoy screwed up the Postal Service and it won't get there. <laughs> <laughs> I can't believe he's still around. God dang it. Oh, anyway. Right. I would take off Neptune personally because I don't think we landed anything on okay. there. The no, Neptune and yet. Uranus and Pluto uh, pretty Uranus. far out. I think we just did flybys. But hi. I don't know for cool. sure. I'm trying to remember what other moons. Is it time for your the asteroid bet? belt? Is Am that the same? Huh? No. The asteroid belt. But there's not a we need to know specific things in the asteroid. Yeah, I think that's oh, not going to go. Yeah, that's getting a little hyper. You can say, what's the asteroid belt's name? Yeah. So do we need one more or are we done? We need one more, yeah. So then go to Ion. Io. That's included in that nine. Io is? Uh, Io's already in there? OK, let's see. You said Io Titan's in there? I have Titan slash Io. Which one are we going with? Both. Well, we they're, they're different. Both. Oh, they're different. Okay, then, we'll, then we're good. Let's go back. Okay, okay we got stuff. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> Here we go. Uh, okay. yeah. Yes. Achilles' nemesis? Uh -huh. Hi, yeah. Kitty. Uh -huh. Hi, Kitty. Hi, Deborah's Kitty. Hello, hello, hello. Yes, it's a crunch under my neck. Oh, you be so good, mommy. <laughs> <laughs> he just wants food. <laughs> my other one just walked in here and said, meow, 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 meow. Like, thinks the you're girl sitting in the spot she wants to be in, I think, is the problem. Uh -oh. Somebody made a joke about making a, a te technological, uh, you know, cat language translator, and they said it's the easiest thing in the world because anytime they meow, they just want food. Mm -hmm. they, every, every meow means feed me, feed me, feed me. Oh, because my cats have a uh, have a uh, food bowl that they can eat out of all day long, so they don't get a special. No, bowl. mine does too, but they don't really prefer that. They want the wet food, or they oh, want no, the treats, or they want food. milk. My cat. They also want you to feed them. That is correct. Oh, yeah. No, I'm not doing any of that. It's something they really want. They, have it. they don't so, want the personal experience of eating out of a trough. They want a human to right. provide them the food. So we have one cat that we've had for two years. So half of that time has been the pandemic, and I've been home every day. Uh, we, I don't know how it's going to react when we go away on vacation for a week. I know. That's what I'm saying, too. They're going to freak out. So it's like, you know, there's going to be a, ha a, a visitor who comes to the house once a day. You know, I, I, it's a far stretch from what they get. But this cat sleeps with me. You know, it's always at my feet. It's going to, I don't know, it's going to be traumatizing. When are you leaving? Mine are getting pretty used to having mine or me around. I know we've got a routine over here and it's going to be so, they're going to be so screwed up whenever we do something like leave. It's going to be really bad. Rob, when are you going? Uh, it's recording, so I'm not going to say. Oh, okay. <laughs> I was headed towards the room I should have ended in, Susan. But that's okay because you're you're done. This and is the last. It, yeah. yeah, but we're gonna go back and and apologize. Uh, we, we haven't <laughs> oh, done that the last four times or so. I right? never I, do that. <laughs> I haven't got time to do that today. My cats have 
Yeah. Like, well, I get lately, a feeling I'm going to need to do lately, that. Lately, Richard says, I got to go. And then Susan says, you have to go too. And the game ends. I've noticed that. Yeah, bro. What a cute kitty. He's a good uh, well, I'm going to leave early because it's late. You oh, leave thank you. Early it's two o'clock late. here. Well, after it's done. But if somebody it wants sounds to like that, something Groucho Marx would say, I got to leave. If early I want if, if I if I give you the power, you guys can somebody can stay. I don't care. I I'm just going to be leaving after this. You know what Groucho Marx wanted his epitaph to read? Is it is it the uh, the the thing that he asked the psychic medium? That one? Oh, uh, no. for not standing. Say it. What what did he want it to say? Excuse me for not standing. Oh, okay. Did he get it to say that? <laughs> no, it just says Groucho Marx. Oh, it doesn't even have his be able to name. Oh. All, right, All right, Leonard. Okay, so in uh, in order, I don't know if I've actually hit return on the chat yet. Let me do that. So in order, by uh, unmask, by, by unmask, date, please unmask. And I will unmask because I was asked to. <laughs> Thank you. You're most welcome. Uh, the moon in 1959, Venus in 1966, Mars in 1971, Jupiter in 1995, the asteroid 433 Eros, the uh, spacecraft was near Shoemaker in 2001, Titan, the Huygens spacecraft in 2005, a Japanese craft landed on asteroid 25143 Itakawa. A uh, satellite called uh, Deep Impact slammed into comet 9P, otherwise known as Temple 1, in 2005. You could actually see it brighten from Earth. In 2015, Sorry, 2014, Comet 67P, with the incredibly wonderful name of Chirimonov Gerasimenko, <laughs> was the uh, was orbited by the Rosetta spacecraft and was landed on by the Philae spacecraft. Ah, yes, I remember the name. In 2015, uh, one of the Mariners landed on Mercury. Uh, the Galileo, sorry, the Cassini spacecraft was crashed into Yay! Saturn in 2017. Thanks, Rob. Uh, Hayabusa 2, the second of the Japanese asteroid missions, landed on Ryugu in 2018. And the good. Osiris Rex spacecraft just a few months ago landed and took off again immediately uh, from the asteroid Bennu. So did not one of the flotilla of, ast uh, of uh, spacecraft that were sent to see uh, Comet Haley uh, take any no. part of the tail or anything? Nothing, nothing got close. No. It isn't, isn't... Okay, so I think you've named more than 10 things. So we, I did. if we got any 10 of these things. Any 10 of those. Okay. The International Space Station is an object, is it not? Not a solar system object. Not a solar system object. It's a natural object. Not, I not didn't hear all. anything about natural versus. You didn't say so. You said uh, it's, my, it's my list. <laughs> <laughs> said objects. Body. Object it's is an object. My list. The the he's looking for. It's are. not Earth, and it's an object in the solar system. Fine, it's the my list. Have been to the <laughs> it's space my station. list. So so none of the none of the asteroids. Excuse me. None, none of the asteroid belt objects. He named some. Yeah. Eros is and an asteroid Eros. belt object. Eros. Yes, yes. We just didn't have the specific names. Mm. Yeah, um, yeah, Leonard, we said Eros, but not with the numbers. I don't. You don't need the number. Okay. And oh, also, the sun. Didn't we send some stuff in into the nope. sun? Nothing has no. gone into the sun. Nothing. It turns out to be oh, quite yeah. difficult to actually get something to hit the sun. Okay. That actually, was a lot of more, It takes four. significantly okay. more energy to leave the solar system than it does to hit the sun. Interesting. Is that because it means, it means less? I think you said that reverse. Yeah. It yeah. To, <laughs> wasn't, wasn't it Messenger and not a Mariner that crashed into Mercury? 
Did you see the question, the answer, Maybe, yes. the question uh, Caspian just asked? No. What Anybody about see the airplane alien two? We're headed for the sun. The, the alien um, monolith is on Iapetus in the book, <laughs> but it's on Europa, Europa in Europa. the movie. Yes. What are those so, scores, Susan? So when it, does it take more energy to reach the sun or leave the They're energy? Arguing. I heard you, sun. Richard. Okay. <laughs> okay, so let's do scores. scores. So we are at uh, beep, 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 beep. What you got? Uh, seven. Okay, so next we're gonna ask Susan, help, Susan is holding his hostage. Seven. <sighs> Committed to not being vaxels. Seven. <laughs> we got eight, we got eight. Eight? eight? Yes, Banu, we did Banu. Okay, <laughs> then let's go, we missed it by that much. Nine. Oh. Nine. Right. And girls, mommy zooming. Seven, I believe. Seven, seven by my count. Yep. yep. I got seven. Well, here we go. Sevens. I'm surprised because I thought that it was going to be missed by that much, and they tied. <laughs> so you got 44. Oh, wow. Very close. Look at Ooh. that. Very close. I don't know how you guys manage it, but everybody managed to get really close. So let me announce that next week I have already um, the full game, Jeff, Rob, Jim Newman, and Caspian. And I need a person who will be a bonus. I've got a bonus. Thank you, Leonard. That was fun. That, that was, was fun, Leonard. Good question. Yep. And I also don't have anybody for the following week. So if anybody wants to text me or whatever it says. I got one written. Cool. I can I'll go. do one, Susan. I, I can do one, one too, Susan. Susan, are you sure it's nighttime where you are? Yes. Hold on. <laughs> Look at this. Look, the sun's shining right through your windows. It's <laughs> <laughs> creepy. That ain't right. It's coming right out. <laughs> okay, Kevin, Mike, Wolf, and who's the other That's person? That's great, Richard. I have I one. I can do one, Susan. Yeah, Brad. <laughs> Thanks, Paulina. Peggy Ryan has one. I gotta go, everybody. Bye. Thank you. Take care, Richard. Good night, everybody. Good night, Richard. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. I gotta get a Bye, Richard. I also have to walk my dogs. Susan, I have to ask, how's Hamilton? He's great. He has he's sleeping right now. <laughs> okay. Say Good hello to him. Hamilton for Hamilton me. I'm gonna go to bed. She's asleep. You know. Okay. Bye, Susan. Good night, Susan. guys. So you're you're looking for a couple of weeks ahead. Am I on Thank next you. week? You are on next week. Okay. And Jeff, Rob, Jim I Newman, see. Caspian, Leonard's doing bonus. Then I have Susan. Kevin, Mike, Wolf, Deborah, Brian, and a, and uh, a bonus. I need a bonus. Do you want me to do another one? Because everybody bonus? got Audrey Hepburn on everything. <laughs> <laughs> well, we'll see about next. Well, next week's full, so we're okay. And I think. So if you if you do me, just do me second, because I have class until like nine fifteen. Okay. What are you studying? Oh, I'm doing a stupid web development course that I already know all the stuff, but I'm just trying to get a certificate. It's dumb. Okay, who am I handing this off to? Because I have got to go to sleep. More or less. No, you don't. I'm going to bed. It's daytime. Okay. Two o'clock here. See the window? Good night, Rob. See you next week. Right. Take care, buddy. Hi, Rob. It was awesome. Adrian. Good for me. I don't care. I was going to tell you, I'm really sorry I'm not going on the cruise, but I've decided my husband needs. There you go. A special winter yeah, time. All right. We need to go in the winter. So, yeah, I need not to, a problem. I need to get him. So, we're talking about, uh, I really, really considered it. I'd have to leave him home, but, but come January, December, January, I need to get him out of here. And so, I think we're doing the Panama Canal. <gasps> that's awesome. Oh. You're going to go to the Panama Canal? Or what if that yep. ship's still in the way? That's Suez. Oh. Yeah, that's the Suez Canal. <laughs> <laughs> well, Eric's going to go over there, to the Panama Canal after it's done with the Suez. <laughs> yeah, Have I hope not. I don't think it goes through the Panama. I, I really I really need to get John out into something sunny come the middle of winter. So. Oh, sounds so I that was, that sounds hard, like a great that was a plan. hard choice for Ooh, me. Come but, here to Salinas. I, I'll, maybe I'll just send him down to there for a 
outfit. Susan. You can hang it's out. Warm. Your days will be a little sunnier <laughs> and a little warmer and beautiful. Okay, so you, I, do, I, I, Susan, I could do bonus it. the second week. Okay. Okay. Did anyone take he, over for Susan? Susan said she wants yeah, to go. Yeah, I, I think I took over. I'm going to probably head out for Bye, We're gonna leave. I'll put up the next week theme and all that stuff yeah, probably tomorrow good. morning. But Janine is your cruise, Adrian. What was that? Sorry. The, it's next.